Hello everyone, and welcome to another Gundam 5e playtest. Joining me in the chat today, we've got Pyro and Caius, and Ryan will Yo. be joining us shortly, so that we can uh, we can play this little module with some of the new enemy characters that we've been working on. Um, can you guys hear me all right? Crystal. It's it coming through 100%. Although, a little bit in the future, can you, next time, can you please give us warning before you go, all right, yeah, we're live, because I almost interrupted you while you were doing your intro. Uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, it, that, I want yeah. Well, okay, good, and your audio's coming through fine. Cool. Yeah. I should hope so. I've completely rearranged my, rearranged my desk so that my microphone isn't in the way of anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I might have to end up buying a new microphone. My dog sat on mine. That that is that would be slightly less worrying if I didn't know what a dog's eyes looked like. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'll probably be manually rolling it, rolling everything because I cannot figure out the the fucking astral character sheet for the fucking life of me. <laughs> well, I'll have to walk you through it at some point. I'll be relying yeah. primarily on astral, so you guys are actually gonna see all my rolls, which is. Not how I normally do things. I usually roll behind behind a, but that, a DM but, screen, but I think for this, it'll be uh, it'll be kind of cool. So I'm so used to being able to click on something to edit it. So annoying. Oh yeah. So you have to click build character first. Yeah. And then. So I will let you uh, tweak that stuff, and I will just go ahead and hop into the sort of starting oh, yeah. description, and then. Uh, and then I'll let you guys describe your characters to me and uh, who 
whoever's watching the stream. So, uh, I suppose it's going to be the three of you. The three of you have been in a heavy-duty truck for the last few days um, on your way to a struggling Xeon base. You passed through a Federation blockade uh, a short day ago. Fortunately, you had disguised the contents of your truck as uh, foodstuffs and medical supplies, but in secret, what you are really carrying are your mobile suits. That said, you are approaching a sprawling urban center that looks like it might have been um, it might have been a well-populated area with uh, with lots of lots of lively things going on. But as you approach, you see that the entire city is um, in ruins from from bombing runs. The there are buildings that have just been completely razed to the ground. Um, you see parts of mobile suits and tanks spread out across uh, across the landscape and you can definitely tell that the war has been raging for several months in this region and that it's been hard fought territory between the Federation and Xeon and as you do we move... know oh, oh, sorry go on go no go you on. go ahead uh, do we know whereabouts the city is or have we just, have we just been loaded into a truck and be like yeah you're off like, do we know, do we know like a like a rough idea? Uh, Middle America. Um, All right. Yeah, you had originally been stationed in New York, um, but after the tragic demise of Garma Zabi, your unit had been disbanded and sort of scattered to wherever uh, wherever you were needed. Um, at these frontline bases, and this is just the latest in your series of assignments that you guys have been working together. So as you move through the city, you see civilians in tattered clothing, you know, just scrambling to pick up any kind of salvage, whatever food they can find, and you are driving through these streets until what looks like an old man in a in a ragged, torn up poncho. Uh, flags you down and waves waves you um, to stop and in your head the only thing you remember is the passphrase that was given to you by your superior officers which was not without wings what so fuck me internet cut out again <laughs> yeah, do let me know if your if your internet cuts out. Yeah, you're missing. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if you just stopped there. What I heard is like the last thing you remember is, and I just assumed that my guy just had a major brain hemorrhage and died instantly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I did pause for a second, but the last thing you remember is the passphrase uh, that was given to you by your commanding officers, not without wings. All right. And as this uh, older man flags you down. You uh, you slow slow down and bring the truck to a stop, and he approaches the cab, and kind of puts his hand uh, up on the side of the cab, and you can see that he's got some type of uniform on underneath this poncho, and he calls out and says, "Hey friend, have you seen any wolves in this area?" No, I, I I look at the I have a look at the others. Okay. Not without wings, my friend. Welcome. You'll find the entrance to the base a few blocks up and to the left. And he points you down to to that direction. And um, as you drive further up, you see that the side of one building has been completely hollowed out. And as you approach it, you see that it's like it's just containing this elevator that lowers into an underground base um, that's just been sort of disguised in this ho hollowed out building. So the uh, the man lets you pass and you drive into the building and uh, empty the contents of your truck onto this freight elevator which takes you down 
for longer than you can even you you try to count the stories that you're going down as as you're being lowered but you lose track uh halfway through and so you have no idea how deep underground you are but below below the surface you can see lots of commotion there are soldiers moving back and forth they're moving gurneys and stretchers with injured troops and uh trying to load mobile suit parts onto um onto shipping containers and you exit the truck and um and you're approached by w what looks to be the commanding Xeon officer of this base and he approaches you and says we've glad we're glad that you made it in time we really need your help to ensure that this operation goes without a hitch tell me what do you know of this mission or have you been told anything I was told a passphrase, and that's about it. Just as well. We can't have you asking too many questions. The mission is simple. We have three HLV carriers carrying our wounded that we need to get back into space. The Federation has been closing in on this base for quite some time, and we simply can't defend this location anymore. It ho holds no real tactical value for us, anyway. The truth is, we're just going to need you to cover our escape. Do you think that you can handle that? I hope so. But I, I must admit, seeing the civilians up there makes me wonder if they'll, if they'll be any, any safer in their hands. Well, truth be told, it's not just the injured that we're smuggling off this station. We have a bit of a problem. There are personnel within this base that contain sensitive information about ongoing Xeon operations, and we cannot afford to have them captured. Should the Federation torture them and extract the information from them, who knows what they could accomplish. So the truth is, we are getting some of our wounded out into space, but the true objective is to get our sensitive personnel into space before the Federation can reach them. Once these people are off, we don't really care what happens to those who are left behind, yourselves included. So mission first, I'll still, anything, so mis mission complete first, anything else is an absolute bonus. Precisely. Naturally. Un oh, carry on. Un no, never mind, sir. I'm just thinking out loud. You'll have a limited amount of time to prepare. We don't know. We've been masking our activity, but once we start launch preparations, the heat signature at the center of the city is going to alert the Federation of our plans, and they're going to move in. So I can't tell you exactly how much time you'll have, but you will have some time to prepare. Of course, any salvage and loot you should acquire from destroyed Federation mobile suits is yours to keep. And as I said, once that last HLV is in the air, you're free to do as you wish. Do you accept the terms of this, of this arrangement? I do. I do not know about the the people who came down with me. Well, well, we're already here. True enough. You'll be in just as much danger as we are once we start launch proceedings. So tell me about yourselves. What are your names? Uh, Roy instantly like pulls himself up into an, an alert stand. My name is Roy Connors. I'm the part. I'm the pilot of a camper which I tend, which I tentatively call the Arsenal. Very good. And you? Oh, Wesley. Wesley and Roy. Very well. And what kind of mobile suit are you using, Wesley? Uh, Galgoog. Ah, I see you've brought some elite units with you. Well, this should be good. 
we will be able to provide you with some support in the form of uh, a pair of Zaku tanks. They were the last of the mobile weapons that we were able to salvage from from everything that we had left here. They will stay behind with you. They can provide limited fire support, but they are equipped with uh, repair protocols. So should you need uh, in-field repairs, the Zaku tanks can provide that. Now, to give you a lay of the area, we are in a base at the center of the city. Surrounding us will be the uh, HLV launch pads. You must defend these launch pads as best as you can. I assume that the Federation forces will be closing in from the east, but they may have stations to the north and south as well. We do not expect them to come from the west, as, as there's nothing but desert for miles that direction. At any rate, I can't tell you exactly what we're expecting, but the Federation has hit us with several uh, new weapons in the last few weeks that we just have not had the ability to repel. So I'm warning you, expect something dangerous to come. Now, are you ready for me to instruct my men to start launch proceedings, and then you can begin preparing for the invasion as you see fit? Uh, Roy looks over at, at Worthley and like, Well, I suppose I'm as ready as I'll ever be. What about you? And is there any more info about the vehicles? I'm sorry. Well, is there a, a, anything more about these these unknown targets he was talking about? Um, go ahead and make an insight check for me. I think you should be able to do it in astral. Yeah. Um... So, as far as you can tell, with a six, um, as far as you can tell, that's everything that he knows. Um, but when you are uh, making your preparations, I'm going to have you guys make a series of skill checks that may reveal some more about the enemies that you'll be facing. Do you mind if I roll insight as well to see if I can tell if he's hiding anything? Uh, yeah, go for it. Didn't that go through? Uh, yes, it did. did. So with a nine, not bad. A nine is unfortunately uh, not going to, you know, as far as you can tell, he's uh, he's being forthwith with you. Um, I he's, think that... he's 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 the commanding officer. Oh, Roy's just like, all right, he's the boss man. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, you get the sense from uh, from what you've rolled. You get the sense that uh, he hasn't personally seen any of the combat, so his uh, his take on what they've been facing probably wouldn't be as accurate as you would want it to be anyway. Uh, you would probably want to speak to some of the, the injured people around and see if any of them had noticed anything unique about, uh, about the mobile suits that they had been facing. Um... So, as a fair warning, here's what I'm going to do, is once you guys are ready, I am going to roll a d4, and you are going to have that many minutes to do whatever you want, no turn order, like, you know, any kind of preparations you want to do, you'll be able to explore the map uh, as best as is you that, can. Is what? that IRL, IRL four minutes? That'll be IRL one d4 minutes. Okay. Um, I, I thought I thought I would check that because time time in tabletop can be really screwy. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. Like, um, and tell you what, we'll make it one d four plus one. That way, it's a uh, a little bit. That way, you're not just stuck with sixty seconds to come up with a plan. Um, so let's go ahead and actually pull up. Uh, who? Well, that's a question. Who is uh, the person who's supposed to be here playing? 
playing. So who, what am I? Lo- what are we losing? You will be losing uh, Marcus Zabi. That is a shame. <laughs> I know. Right? I'm sure he was a, a fine pilot. <laughs> we are gathered. We are gathered here today to uh, commemorate his ceasing to exist in the truck. He just dissipated to us. We don't know what happened. <laughs> Oi! Hello. Hey there. Welcome. I You're do just apo- in time. I do apologize for being late, but I was unfortunately out of my hands. So. Hey, you are all good. It happens, my friend. And you and you said we had two Zaku tanks as well. Uh, you do. All right. So can they you... said that we weren't expecting anything from the west. Can so you can I recommend we we put those there? Can Someone mind giving me a quick one through? Uh, I'm... I'll I'll let Hatter. It's his it's his thing. So you guys um arrived at this city center. Cool. Mm. And um, mm. I'm just opening gas for me. Yeah, you're fine. Um, you made it inside of a hidden Xeon base. You were instructed about the the details of this mission. You are going to be protecting three HLV launchers, um, just in time for them to escape. Uh, the contents of these HLV launchers are wounded Xeon soldiers and some Xeon officers that have sensitive information about ongoing Xeon operations that okay, they do so not... Currently we're... So currently we are in the base, right? You are currently yes. in the base. Sick. So, um, you guys are going to have 1d4 plus 1 minute to prepare uh, in any way you see fit. Um... And... Please roll high, Hunter. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, right. Please roll high. <laughs> um, and that'll be whenever you guys are ready. I will roll and start the start the clock. So we had to. What are the? We had two Zaku tanks to just position anywhere. Yes, you can yeah. position those like, Zaku tanks anywhere. He said. He said we're not expecting any resistance from the west. So can I recommend we put those there? Apparently, there's just desert to the west, and if push comes to shove. Those Zaku tanks are, are our like warning system that something's coming from over there. Fair enough. So I will position them. Um, you tell me if you guys like the positioning of them or if you want them anywhere else. I was going to put. Okay. Them... Is it what? What is it known? What city we're in? Just wondering. It's a city it in the American Midwest. Fair enough. Okay. So it's more. No sleeping area, no specific harsh weather condition, apart from, well, it's America, so maybe, like, rain can you, in the west. Can you correct me if I'm wrong, but those are walls, those are walls surrounding this inner complex, basically? Yes. The, okay. The, the the walls I only put up so that uh, you guys wouldn't be able to see the map until uh, um, until I was yeah, ready no, to let no, you see like it. I, I'm, talk, I'm talking about, like, uh, what's this, double click, here. Oh, yeah. And I, and I assume yeah. this is a, a, a ruined city. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna... Ruined city, hidden bit. Okay, cool. Okay, so, so I, mostly going... the, the area around is probably like mostly ruined buildings and rubble. Precisely. Uh, right. so, okay, so, 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 is there I'm... by chance a river near? <laughs> I am ready where you are. When you are. <laughs> I'm basically ready as well. I might be a bit. Well, lucky. No I might be I'm a little bit. Um, because my internet isn't best, but I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I should be, I hope I'm at least my, my, uh, voice is coming through, not very laggy. No, you're coming through perfectly. Cool. Sick. All right. So, unfortunately, I crit failed that, uh, that D4 roll. I rolled. Uh, a... so what did I, what did I ask? <laughs> I said, I asked one thing. So you were guys. So we, we have two minutes. You guys are going to have two minutes to, uh, to explore and prepare. Uh, as best as you can. Um, hmm. Okay, so is there like, like I said, is there any like? Um, hmm. I don't assume there are massive craters that are filled with water. No, no, uh, no water hmm. that you can see, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, um, and this is an actual representation of the map, isn't it? It is, yes. So what I'm thinking is, um, thing is there, but my mouse is pinging. Mm-hmm. There's a hanger that looks like a hanger relic. 
or like um, a storage facility of some kind. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move my token so I can actually see what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um. This. It looks like a mobile yeah, suit that's... hangar or like a storage facility for like goods or trucks or whatever. Is that still intact? Um. It is. Or intact enough from okay. Would I be I with my high goal possible? Would it be possible to hide in that to prepare an ambush attack? Oh, absolutely. So that's what I'm probably going to be doing because that's my strong suit, and yeah, I'll probably just uh, hide in there and try to ambush people when I can. All right. That, that, uh, that that's going to be my the, plan. Are the nearby buildings intact that I could stand that I could stand on top of them and they would support my mobile suits weight? Um, I believe there are a couple. Um, here. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm talking more within the the base. Oh, within the base. Yeah, within, within this like in in a walled area. Oh yeah, you could uh, stand on top of that. Okay. And that well, will give you a height advantage. Yeah, I, I've I I overcome. I said I assume we're all sitting in our suits at this point. So yes. first up. Here, here first we... off, first off, first off, I, I, uh, comms check, comms check. You, can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Also about the um, uh, shit. What is it? About the enemy. The only thing we know is that we are protecting Zion HLVs with wounded soldiers and well, not. We don't know. We know that the Feddies are coming after, but we don't know what division. Well, it's probably it's a ground division, I assume. Like what division is coming after us, or no. if it's like we have no particular detail. That's just for us to the, deal with. And... The well, it's Feder it, it's Federation. I can think we can fairly guess that there will be at least two GMs. <laughs> well, a GM and the ball. Yeah, a GM and the orb. The orb. <laughs> All right, I am going to start the timer, and then if you guys want to make any checks, or if you guys have any questions about the terrain. Uh, let's have them. Starting. Um, yes, I. There's one check that I. Okay, I assume I can just move my character. Yes. Yeah, you can move. Um, position your character wherever you want to. Um, I want to position my. Let's see. I want to. So I can't see now, because my character isn't. Oh. Um. Hmm. Uh. Quick question. Would it be... Is it obvious where the uh, launch sites are? I will assume there'll be big hatches that will be opening, but will they will they be uh, like above ground, or will the suits have to be looking basically firing down into a launch into a launch tube? The uh, the launch mechanisms. Can you see the HLV launchers on the map? Uh, I yes. can, but are, are, basically, are they above ground? Oh yes, they are above ground. Okay, right. so they so I will assume they're fa they're fairly large, being HLV HLV. So we do have to worry about long range sniper picking at the engines. You do. Okay. Yeah, they they have a right, fair so... amount of uh of armor points, but um, so like they can take a a little bit of a hit before they. So yeah, do you see where I'm standing while I'm pinging now? Mm-hmm. Would it be possible for me to hide in that hangar? Well, I can't drive. I can't drive my character there because the map doesn't allow it. But still. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can assume that. I'll just... Okay, and then there's. It's a bit of a. Oh, since uh, the buildings are structurally very poor, yeah. would it be possible for my mobile suit to basically with? Well, it's the, the weapons are heated. I will iron nails with the heat. The heat upgrade. Would it be possible to me for me to just basically like attack? through a wall without suffering a penalty um yeah or depending... without a major penalty depending on the positioning of the enemy of course yeah yeah you'd be able to do that as long as you uh Check. as long as you knew they were there <laughs> okay cool so i'll just hide in here and this is a very not a well done but like we i can't see everything that's happening around me only for a very small radius but i assume it was purpose yeah, so there's a lot of uh, buildings that'll block line of sight, but um, okay. but if you click off of your character, you'll I think you are able to see the rest of the map, correct? Uh, yeah, why don't I mean, click off my character? <laughs> no. How do I click off my character? Does it not? Doesn't let at least not to me. But, um... Ah. Oh. I just pop. Oops. Nope. I cannot click off. 
I suppose it makes sense that we are we are limited in what we can. Yeah, that makes. I mean, that makes. It does make what well, in character that does make. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. Ah. Uh, well, we we kind of know the area around us. So I, I, I'm going to message. I'd like to message the the guys with comms. Sorry to break you off there, but I am worrying because we are on the time limit. Uh, yes, your time is yeah, up. I believe. Okay. I be, I believe each of, each of us should take an H L V as a primary concern. There's three. There's three. We have three suits and there's three H L V launchers. Worry about worry about the one you're closest to at the moment, and help and help others only and help others if needed. Do not you worry. You worry about your own damn HLV or <laughs> I intend. I intend to. Let's build some blood, boys. All right. Um, first, I'm gonna need you guys to each give me a perception check. Okay. So I sound like a psychopath now, but that's fine. So go from a normal voice to a. <laughs> wait, 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 naked. <laughs> So, uh, perception, you said? Yes. Perception, so that's a d20 plus 3. For me. Did that, did that decide to actually roll? No, it did not. Uh, perception. Oh, I got a 3. How do you open one? How do you open your... Let's uh, uh, edit character and then... Um... I, I can't believe... I can't believe I'm blind. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let uh, me reveal some of these enemies. I'm just opening mine. So I'm dumb, and I don't know how to roll perception, apparently. Okay. Now I do. Very nice. Um, perception. Roll. Nice. All right, so so I rolled an eighty. So Wesley and uh, Jin, or Davis, mm -hmm. whichever you prefer to be called. Jin, well, whatever. Well, it's it's Jin for you, darling. <laughs> uh, you have identified two Federation tanks approaching from the south, and a tank as well as a GM approaching from the east. There's okay. one counter. I've called it. There's going to be at least two. <laughs> All right. So, can I get some initiative rolls from everybody? Yep. Is he going to announce that he has enemy contacts? I think. Or is it like, oh yeah, um, I have the feeling that there's probably enemies nearby. Uh, initiative is. Uh. Man, I'm rolling terribly today. So I got 19, right, good. I got 3. Let's... I got 12. Good F. deal. So. Um, bum, bum, bum. I need to... Oh, yeah. So, we got a 12 from Wesley. We got a... Six from Pyro. A 19 for me. And a 19 for Jin. Let's remove Zabi and let's roll. Four D20s. Nope, that's not what I want to do. So we got a seven. Jesus Christ, the initiative, the initiative of North 49. <laughs> I feel like that might have been a mistake there. No. What's that? The 49? <laughs> yeah, the 49. Well, <laughs> it's like, it's we're actually up against the Gundam. <laughs> they do say, they, they do say a red mobile suit are three times as fast. So maybe there's a red gym. That would be possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like go fast as stripes on a car. <laughs> It's like, hold on, I'm just going to paint my mobile super red real quick. <laughs> Alright, so, top of the round is Jin. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Well, currently, I am already in hiding. Yes, um, why don't you go ahead and make a stealth check for me? Yes, sir. 
Um, is there a quick way to open mine with space bar? Isn't it? Yes. yes, space bar it, should open it, your it, character sheet. In, my internet's quite garbo, so it'll take a while for me to um, actually roll. No but worries. Um, let's see, a stealth check, you said. Come on, give daddy some good numbers. Oof, a 22. Okay. You, you are very hidden. <laughs> Let the carnage begin, boys. <laughs> Right. And then would you like to uh, do anything, hold an action or anything like that? Mm, um, well, well, I could, no, I'd, I'd say I could like use my action to dodge or whatever, but like there's no, 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 not really. I mean, I'm just in hiding now. I'm just waiting. I'm just, I'm waiting him out for now. Good deal. All right. Up next is one of the tanks. We'll be moving 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And that's its turn. Up after him is another one of the tanks. Nope. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then that brings us to Wesley. Okay, explain. Because I cannot see anything. <laughs> except... uh, you're like sandwiched between buildings. <laughs> I was just so I can get an idea of what the actual thing looks like. Yeah, because um... I can't really. So, uh, to the right of you, obviously, is the HLV launcher, um, and then uh, beyond that, there's a street um, that's probably about 100 decameters away, uh, so about 1,000 meters away, and just south of that is one of the GMs, and just south of the GM is one of the Type 61 tanks. Okay, and I currently... Um... Well, I can't. I, I don't have anything inside, but that's just. I'm not very long range, so. Um... And yeah. let's see. I can probably turn on um, shared vision, because you yeah. guys can't yeah. see what each other can see, right? No, yeah. no. I can only see my. Well, I can see Roy, but I can't see like what do you see? Second, yeah, I'm trying to find where I ah shared vision. Now, can you guys see each other's? Uh, ye I can see. Yes, it. sir. Oh, yes, oh, okay. no, I can see everything. That's... Is that better? <laughs> that's that well, that's fine for me. <laughs> that works fine for me as well. <laughs> Good deal. I mean, I mean, mobile suits are quite big, and it's a, like a ruined city, so we should probably be able to oversee most things. Fair enough. All right. Will that help you uh, with your turn? Yeah, that that will. <laughs> Insanely as much. <laughs> good, good. Um. So, what would you like to do? I think I'll move here. I think I'm inside uh, of that first GM. Uh, I believe so. What's the range on your weapons? Uh, my beam rifle is... Let me just pull up my second window. Uh, 200, 600. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's probably only... Uh, he's probably only 160 away, so... We should have gone more melee based, shouldn't we? I I'm very melee based. That's the thing, and I I'm um well I I'm very weak and well I have anti large rockets like in my bombs, so that's like my backup when it comes to range. But apart, I got Falcons and Rest Mountain Machine Guns. My main weapons are melee weapons, so I'll try to take care of um melee. Okay. 
So, are you going to be uh, firing with the beam rifle on this GM? Indeed I am. Awesome. A 16 to hit. Let's see what his... I forget what his AC is, actually. Or AC, evasion rate. That is going to hit. Dealing 10 ballistic damage. Wait. It... Or, no, it's going to be Let energy it... damage. Sorry, on the, uh, on the thing it says ballistic, but that's incorrect. Yeah, it should, it should actually be D10. I swapped it to D10 on the thing. Oh, it, uh, yeah, it, it rolled a D10. Awesome. And is that, uh, everything? No, it, it's actually a, a D8. Oh, it's a D8? A, yeah, it, it rolled a, a D8 plus two. Oh, I see. That's why it's a uh, 10 total. Yeah. I'll try and uh, fix it. All right, no worries. Is that everything on your turn? I yeah, don't think I have second attack yet. No, nah, I don't think we, uh, you guys would at level three. <laughs> um. All right. Well, that brings us to the GM's turn. Ten twenty. 50 and he is going to have a shot at you with his wait let me make sure that you're in range Ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. you're just barely in range for a beam spray gun shot <laughs> that is a 16 to hit That matches. Oh, it was as the same as your evasion rate. I don't know if ties goes to the defender or the offender. Uh, ties go to the attacker. Um, so you will take six points of damage. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, yeah, I should probably mention to Ryan, uh, the Zaku tanks have repair capabilities. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, just, I just realized he wasn't here for that, and that's probably something he wants to know. <laughs> yeah, that's something that I do. Well, I, my, I'm very much... Because I my strategy is to one hit one though, basically uh, attack with four fours and like with my um, gunning action and try to hide again. Or disengage at least and like... Try to keep it like close in, distant, blah, 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 blah. So that's good, but that's good to know. <laughs> yes, that's very run. good to know. Um, Get around here. Yeah, a, oh, any, any turn that you end uh, adjacent to one of those Zaku tanks, you will be healed a uh, certain amount of. of uh, oh, shit. So, oh, no, that'd be, oh, oh, that's great. So I can just disengage. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Now also, that... this is just a bit of a. Um, sorry, this would be a bit of a question. I assume it would be. No, I can actually hide in here. Um, it's every block is how much decameter again? Uh, every square oh, is ten, ten decameters. Yeah, yeah. So right, sick, cool, thank you. No, yeah. Wait, uh, yeah, I'm looking at and I realize that my evasion should be gone because it. I, I forgot to add in the stuff the shield. I think. Oh, if so I your call... evasion's actually higher than 16. Yeah, because if I call Galgoos have uh, 14 base, and I have a 2 for proficiency, so that makes it 16, and then I have the heavy shield. Oh, yeah. Well, then let me go ahead I and... Oh, I missed you. They're saying I think Astral's getting some of their maths up. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, well the, the with the armor points earlier, like you and I discussed, that was uh Yeah, yeah that was on me. Yeah, alright. Yes, yeah, so, so we're on the sheet do I add in the uh shield to, to the invasion to, to, to the evasion. Oh, um let me I should be able to do it for you if I certainly should I certainly probably should have bought a shield, but a hind, I'd say hindsight's yeah. twenty twenty, but so far twenty twenty has been nothing but bad. I mean, <laughs> well, you I mean if you wanted a shield shield without affecting your arms, you you could have gotten a shoulder shield. He's got a point. <laughs> um, but yeah, Pyro Roy, that actually brings yeah. us to your turn. Ahoy! Uh, rough distance check on those. Uh oh, on. The enemies uh, to the south? On the GM, because I don't think the tank can go through the wall. So no. the tank will have to be funneled through this lower point. True. The GM probably can, though. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. He's probably, a, uh, probably like 220, 230 decameters away. So like 2300, uh, 2300 meters. Sounds like a, a beam machine gun job then, because that's 200, 600. Mm-hmm. I, I would use my bazooka, but I don't want to risk blowing a hole in that wall. Fair enough. I don't really want to... So that's a... That's plus reactions. So that is a plus one. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, Google's, sorry, Astral's being stupid. No worries. Uh, 15, 16, 16 altogether. 16 will hit. Uh, you want to roll some damage? Yep, it's... one d 6 plus, uh, reactions again, which is 1. Uh, that's 3 damage. 3 damage, uh, I believe as a machine gun, it also fires twice. Oh, so it'd be uh, six. I I believe it would be six damage, yes. And I have six twenty-three damage. left in the chamber. Good deal. So seeing that uh, seeing that your partner is being fired at, you you know jet from behind this uh, HLV launcher and fire your beam machine gun uh, just just narrowly between two ruined built buildings to. Uh, to peg this GM. And that brings us to the last of the tanks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And he's not in range to do anything, so that will be his turn. Top of the round. Jin, you are up. Yes. So, um, like Pyro said, I, the tanks have to funnel through here, right? Correct. Okay, so I want to, I assume this is a very low risk thing, but I want to reposition mm -hmm. myself to go here. I don't assume it would be possible for me to hide in those buildings, so I want to reposition to here, just around the corner, so I can basically surprise them when they're funneling through and when they're at their weakest, when they can't dodge as, as much. I want to basically hide behind the wall. Sure. Around um... the corner. So, if I have enough movement speed. Yeah, so I'm you should thinking, be... That'd be terrifying for the tank operator. It's like, all right, I'm just going to go through this <laughs> game. There's just claws appear in front of you. <laughs> Basically. Um, so you should be able to move about five squares away. Um, oh, I have my movement. I have, I have the um, magnetic coding upgrade, so I have uh, my movement speed has been increased by 10 dm, so I get to oh. move six. Ah, there you go. All right, so then, uh, yeah, so move, him. go ahead and move uh, six squares and then make one. another stealth check. One, since you'll two. since you'll be moving like out of one hiding okay, so, place and into another, so I'm going to reposition. Firstly, I'm going to reposition to. I would be able to reposition to one, two, three, four, five, six. Would I be able to reposition to here? Oh yeah. Ish. Okay, cool. But I'll reposition here. I assume this it would stealth check be with uh, advantage because I am inside the walls and well, I am a very relatively low profile model. So. 
Well, don't uh, um, well, don't worry about necessarily like m making sure that you have cover on the map. Like you can you oh, can make right. a you can make a stealth check anywhere. Um, so like even if you were in the middle of the road, you I, I'd let you make a stealth check. Um, can I can I, I, I would assume like, a stealth anyway. check in the middle of the road would make you look like a uh, make you look like a ruined suit, <laughs> basically, yeah. and, um, or okay. at least a non-functioning one. So I'm going to roll stealth again. All right. Uh, roll, come on, bastard. Okay, and um, oh since <laughs> and then, and since I have expertise in sneak and deception, and my proficiency is free, my stealth check becomes a twenty-six. Yeah, the, you are. Oh, that's a good stealth check, my guy. <laughs> you are quite hidden. <laughs> cool, and that, and with that, I um, hmm, I have a quick look here at my carriage sheet. No, I I end my turn with that, yeah. End your turn with that, which will bring us to this type sixty one tank. Just gonna go ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. And it is actually going to, let's see, um, I don't remember the range on its cannon. Oh, that's not good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, it can hit that. So it's going to be firing its cannon at the HLV launcher in the top uh, to the northeast, we'll say. Is there, there a way that we, is there a way that we can have a, like a map ruler as well? So I don't have to go on squares. Uh, a wait, uh, a what as well? A map, like a, like a map a ruler. Like a measuring thingy. Because I don't, I don't have the option to use one. I do not know if that that's, is a that's, feature. <laughs> it's, it, it, it would just be a luxury thing, but like I know Roll20 has that, and that's really handy. That's true. Might be something to look into after the game. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I believe that is going to be a miss with a 9. So, the uh, the tank opens fire on the HLV and uh, misses. Which brings us to the second tank. 10, 20. Ah. 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, and it is going to open fire on the southwest HLV launcher with a 14. I don't believe that's actually going to hit. Let's see. Okay. Wait, I thought the HLV launcher had a... Uh... Oh. Well, I believe it was 1555, so that is going to be a miss as well. And that brings us to Wesley's turn. Okay, second verse, same as the first. So opening fire on the GM again. And a miss. Oh yeah, I'm afraid an eight misses. You level your your beam rifle uh, at the GM, but the the kickback is just too much and kind of like raises the uh, the beam blast just above the GM's head. Um, did you want to move at all or or hold your position? I think that's it. I don't don't think a I don't have anything good for bonus actions yet. Alright. No worries. So we'll move to the GM, which will close in a little further. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And um, this GM is looking pretty rough. He is going to open fire on the HLV launcher with his beam spray gun. 
and with a six, clearly he's not quite in range. Um, Wesley, you see this like real close up that he's firing this tiny beam spray gun, and it like the the beam particles scatter before they hit the HLV launcher. And that will bring us to Roy. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to move from behind this HLV and fire at the southernmost six, Type 61. Sounds good. Uh, can I get a range check on that, actually? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It's about 180 decameters. So, 180. Yeah, 18 squares away. Hmm. That should be. That's a range. problem. That's kind of in. That's kind of in what I've called my normal. I'm just going to step back. Step back twenty. So that's at two hundred now. Oh. And beam machine gun again. All right. Another plus one. Oh, what error is Astro giving me now? <laughs> or did my internet cut out? Um, not yes, sure. I believe my internet's cut. Oh no, I rolled a three. Never mind. <laughs> I think that that is going to be a miss. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> so <laughs> you're just uh, so far away that this tiny tank uh, doesn't appear. Um, it, you know, it's just it's too far away for you to get a clean beat on it, and so you fire uh, several rounds from your from your beam machine gun. Um, and that brings us to said tank, who will close in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And since it is in range of the HLV launcher, it will be firing its cannon at the metal one, I see. Yes, at the uh, yeah, the yeah. central HLV. Um, with an 11, that does not hit. <laughs> um, so that brings us to the top of the round. Jin, you are up. Hmm. Well, um, would it be possible for me with a high enough deception check to fire my, or to fire one of my weapons and basically deceive the enemy in thinking it came from a different position? Yeah, I think you could do that. Um, I would go ahead and just make like a... Uh... Like a deception check? Yeah, let's make a deception check. I was going to say a raw cunning check, but I think that I, I would rather you add your proficiency if you have it. I, 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 that, that's, that's my thinking, because I got expertise in deception as well. Sure. So... Um, I, somehow, I somehow think that I might have been shortchanged by picking Gorilla here. <laughs> well, that's okay. part of the reason that we're playtesting these. <laughs> yeah. So, um, hmm. Okay, so I roll. I'm going to roll my deception. If it works, bloody works. Right. Uh, Astral's nice and all until you until it won't roll for you. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Right. It's twenty, and my um, proficiency. In, uh, my proficiency bonus is 2, but my proficiency in deception is 4. And because I got expertise in deception, would that mean that I get a note that my uh, 4 gets doubled into an 8? So my total deception check comes out as a 24. Um, oh no, that the uh, the roll actually factors in all of your modifiers for you. Even my, ex well, my expertise is in the... Ooh, it doesn't factor in the expertise, no, so you would have to add that would it be a plus two then for my raw proficiency? Would it be a plus four for my proficiency in deception? 
it would be a plus two. So it's 22 okay. total. Yeah, so would I be able to deceive the enemy? Um, yeah, so think, right? show me where you are firing. Like, go ahead and ping on the map, like where... I want to fire at the... Uh, well, firstly, I would like to... <clears throat> I would like to fire... Well, firstly, I'd like to go here on the map. I'd like to move here. Okay. I'd like to fire from... So that's about how many squares would that be? Uh, one, two, two, three, three four. Oh, yeah, you can get there easily. Okay, so I'll just... I want to fire my rest-mounted machine gun from here. At least I assume I have the range to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I am still hidden, am I not? Uh, you'll have to make another stealth check. Uh, I'll for make the move. another. Okay, I'll make another stealth check then. Which. Stealth. It's 20, so it's uh, so 22. 22. Total. Yes, 22 total. Good deal. So I would like to. Um, do a sneak attack on the Type 61 tank with my rest mounted machine gun. Oh, okay. And because I have the, let's see, I have the critical strike. Is it, no, that's good as melee, never mind. I'm being dumb. Um, now I don't want to make my uh, attack. Yes, yeah, so I got to make the ranged attack. You are very lucky, sir. That actually hits. <laughs> and eight hits. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> so that is... Uh... So it's six six damage, but then 11 for the uh... for the sneak attack, correct? Mm, well, it's 2d6 sneak attack, so yes, it would be plus 11. So it would be six plus 11, so that'd be 17 damage in total, wouldn't it be? So, yeah, with 17 damage... You just blew that tank to smithereens using. Uh... Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. As my bone, I haven't used my bonus action. So as my bonus action, I would like to use my gunning action to take the dash, uh, to take the dash option, and basically dash. Mm, here. Okay. That would be possible, I assume. Yep. Yep. Would it be possible for me to tr hide again, or would that be another bonus action? Um, a ch I a check if, if I'm hidden again. That's what I meant. I, I would, I would say that you keep your same stealth check. Basically, just oh. any any time that you move on your turn, I'll have you re-roll uh, the stealth check. All right. But, but cool. if it's you know, if it's all if it, in if it, if it, if it, but if I want to hide in combat, it would be a bone uh, hide echo hide a hide action, I assume. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I want to move here, ish here ish, and then uh, I'm gonna roll my stealth again, and then uh, oh, did I? Come on, <laughs> uh, Is it just me? I did. Oh, did Ryan just leave? That did actually. Oh. That is just for being a bit of a wet fart for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it happens. <laughs> but um. I'm going to roll my stealth, and I don't want to be too cocky, but I have a feeling I'm <laughs> going to be. Okay. I'm going to roll my stealth again. God damn it, where are you? Did it roll? Um, no, it didn't. I haven't it seen it come not. through yet, but it might just be taking a second. No, it's not roll. Oh shit! <laughs> now it's rolling. That's thirteen, Ooh, and that's okay. plus my that's so plus two total. Yeah, fifteen total. All right. Would that be successfully hidden? I I suppose I will let you know if you are successfully hidden. <laughs> Ooh, you sly bastard. All right. <laughs> um, all right. That brings us to the Type 61 oh, so tank. Oh, what's that? I'm going to take my ammunition 
out for my well one ammo for my um rest mounted oh okay gotcha okay, okay. i'll put that on my character sheet because that's 23 out of 24. okay cool sick all right so this tank is actually going to use its uh its special ability which is to discharge smoke in a uh what what radius oh it's only this unit <laughs> i was hoping that it would protect the gm but it does not so uh <laughs> so this tank uh discharges smoke on itself and um let me see i think i needed to roll a d6 that's to recharge it so all attacks um for the rest of the round um, are made with disadvantage against this particular tank. Which brings us to... Oh, that tank is dead. So, Wesley, your turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What would you like to do? Oh, we're getting in close on the, uh... I'm gonna pull out... I'm gonna pull out my, uh... Modified... Yagu... My beam neoc... Or whatever it's called. It's called... But it's just... Just a, a flavored Gyan Bean Saber. Heck yeah. And make a uh, melee attack on the GM. All right. Well, that is definitely going to hit, dealing seven damage. Oh, nope, not the tank. <laughs> the GM. So as you raise your uh, beam Naginata and you just slash into the center torso of this GM, it reels back, and uh, this GM is not looking so hot. Um, it's probably going to go down at any minute now. <laughs> now that brings us to the GM's turn. And it is going to uh, pull its beam saber from its back and have a swipe at you. Missing, because it is a terrible Federation pilot. He you know, tries to be cute with it and pull the beam saber and at the same time bring it down on you and just totally misses and whiffs his shot. And that Oh, uh, like, he's, he, like, swings it past you and after it, after it's, like, <laughs> it's probably, that's when it turns or it's just in between your legs. <laughs> um, and that brings us to Roy's turn. Uh, what is the range on the southern southernmost tank? The southernmost is this one. probably 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, probably like 130, it looks like. 130. Now you... And each square is what? Five or is how many decimeters? Uh, each square is 10. But you do know that like 200 is the max range that you can shoot with uh with, like without taking disadvantage on the attack and then 600 is the total range right yeah i know okay but, and i'm trying to keep myself from disadvantage here oh oh well yeah there's uh, no way you would have disadvantage you're fine <laughs> well yes the, yes it was you said it was 130 oh yeah 130 that's way less than 200 Oh no! Sorry, I'm reading this the wrong way around. I was reading it as like, oh, uh, uh, two, like when it gets inside 200, it's less accurate because it's not the range of them. Oh <laughs> no, no! That... Oh, fantastic. In which case, I'm gonna attempt to snipe him. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm that, that only sniper. works on the sniper rifles. It's with if they're within 100 of a sniper rifle. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna. But he's just outside, so I'm I'm gonna do this. So I'm going to. That's D20 
plus one, because I probably should have put some more into my reaction. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely think I need to put some more into my reaction. <laughs> so yeah, a, uh, a six is not going to cut... Well, no, it's technically a seven, right? Because... Uh... No, I did the plus one in the roll, so... Oh, you did, okay. Yeah. So um, that was just a fix, I just fucking missed. <laughs> so yeah, despite the fact that the tank is substantially closer, uh, you still uh, whiffed the shot, unfortunately. Yeah. Do not ask me how. <laughs> Which brings us to said tank's turn. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and it's going to have another pop at the central HLV launcher. With a 19, it is going to hit and deal 10 ballistic damage to... Uh, out of curiosity, do we know how long it's going to take these to launch? Um, it is going to take several rounds of combat. Um, let me see. Go ahead and make a, uh, make a land knowledge check. Uh, my land knowledge is just a plus one, I believe. Oh, no, it's a plus three! Nice. Can we all make one? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could all make it. Ooh, 21. Of course you, of course you get critical success. <laughs> <laughs> just to show off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're all uh, pretty keen on land knowledge, so you know that it's going to take about five minutes for the uh, for the HLV launchers to reach critical mass and and lift off, um, but they didn't all start up necessarily at the same time. So some of them, so some are going to launch before others. I... Um, which brings us to Jin. Top of the round, your turn. Are you there, Ryan? I can't hear you. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Um, <laughs> well, uh, we don't know. We don't know which HLV is going to launch first. Do we? That's a surprise for us. Yeah, you don't know which one uh, is firing. Well, off we'll first. we'll find we'll find off soon. We'll find out soon. But um, the melee range. That's how many squares is that again? It'll be one square. Um. So you could get in on this tank and, uh... <laughs> hmm... What I'm gonna do... Would it give me... Because I'm in hiding, would it give me advantage if I surprise them and pop, would it pop out of hiding so I could do a sneak attack on him? Oh yeah. Okay, so I want to basically move um, in front of the tank, just rush up to him. Up till here. And I want to make a melee attack with my iron nail. And you said I got advantage. Did it you? Mm -hmm. Or would it be a sneak attack? Well, yeah, you would. You would have advantage because you are hidden. Okay. Um, well, I was hidden at least. No, not anymore. Well, <laughs> yeah, you won't be I'm hidden gonna, after you hit him. But I'm gonna attack him with my iron nail. Um. So it's uh, hmm, shit. Oof. So oh, that doesn't hit. No, nah, fortunately you did have advantage, so uh, it takes the eight, not the five. Um, so it does hit. It does hit. <laughs> so that hits, and normally I'd say I'm going to take my critical strike, which extends my critical threat range by my proficiency modifier. So that'd be a, a eighteen, but that doesn't really come into play here. Uh, so no, nah, I think no, um... that doesn't come. That doesn't come into play. So let's All see. Right. So that's a seven to hit, I think. Yeah, yep. seven to hit. Correct. With plus six, that's thirteen knee damage plus nine sneak damage because it's sneak attack. Which puts it so twenty-one total. Put, twenty-one total. You completely I obliterate this tank. I just swipe. I just swipe through like <laughs> a hot iron nail through. I would say it's a stick of butter, but through like a fatty tank just. Yeah, it's you just completely uh, 
decimate this poor thing. Okay. Sending no. a thousand to... degree. Not... <laughs> yeah. So thousand now degree, as um. Technique to one. <laughs> um. I still have my bonus action left, correct? Uh, yes. As my bonus action with my cunning action, could I choose to dash and try to assist um, Wesley and Roy with their HLDs? Uh, yeah, you could dash. How how close could I get? Could I get? That's so... twelve. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so could I move here and make a well, here and make a try to hide again, or would that be an additional action? Uh, the hide would be an additional action, so you can go there, but you wouldn't be hidden anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do? I mean, can't you still hide as a bonus action next turn? That's what I was planning on doing. Yes, I'm going to move um, here. Plus, and you you could also move here. Yeah, I, I want to move in, but can I could move in between these two buildings? So at least I'm slightly obscure. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to use my bonus action to do my cunning action and move in between these two buildings. And with that, I shall end my turn. Alright, that brings us to the Type 61 tank, which is going to probably fruitlessly fire at this HLV launcher again. <laughs> Ooh, no, he's going to, uh, going to crit, in fact. So, the HLV launcher is going to suffer eight points of ballistic damage. And that brings us to Wesley's turn. I'm a Baptist GM with my sword. I think uh, as long as you hit, you will probably be killing him. <laughs> You've yet to say something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unfortunately, a five is uh, is not going to hit. So I think um, you were distracted by its its. Uh, dazzling technique trying to pull its beam saber and uh, you just barely miss it with your uh, beam naginata. Can I bonus action attack but not take a modifier? At... Kind of like a offhand attack? Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll a uh, raw d20. So a 17 will hit, and we'll just go ahead and use the uh, the 5 slashing damage that you would have done, which will obliterate this poor GM. So it was like, with your with your first swipe you missed because of the uh, beam saber flashing its light in, in your eyes, but uh, you pulled a, um, what is that sword technique called? That, uh, oh, I forget the swordsman that... Uh, that Musashi killed on Dragon Island, but you quickly butterfly tail and swipe up with your Naginata, slicing the uh, GM in half. Um, and that takes him off of the off of the take, which brings us to Roy. It is your turn. Um, question: If I get one of the Zaku tanks over to the HLV, could they perform repairs on them? Unfortunately, no. Not while the HLVs are getting getting ready to launch. All right. So in which case, I'm going to. Uh, I assume that Type 61 is inside to is inside 600. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do that then. Please don't miss an unfortunate ball. I'm in between the buildings, so I'm safe. But don't miss <laughs> and hit like your teammate, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I should probably move first, shouldn't I? Yeah, reposition. Uh. Uh, there you go. Nice clean shot from there. Oh yeah. So that's one D twenty plus one. Eight. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fortunately, 
unfortunately, that actually ties the evasion rate of the tank, so that hits. And you said attacker, ha attacker has advantage, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. Takes 1d12 plus 1. I swear to God, if I roll low, roll, if I roll low on this... <laughs> Uh, checking 1d12 reactions. 10. That's not bad. 10 points of damage. Yep. So you boost up onto the uh, top of the building and aim your uh, beam machine gun down. And, uh, sniper, but yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you're using the sniper rifle. Yeah, I, but it was the, I forget how many guns you have. <laughs> yeah. I still haven't used my shoulder cannons, my bazooka, or my bazooka, or my beam saber. <laughs> Um, so yeah, dealing, uh, 10 energy damage to this, uh, this Type 61 tank. Alright, that brings us to, uh, the top of the round again, because that last tank was already destroyed. So, Jin, your turn. From the looks of it, could make it if you dash. Um, you probably could. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I mean, he wouldn't even need to if he just uses the, uh, the wrist mounted machine guns. Are you there, Ryan? <laughs> Sorry, talk again. No. Uh, do we get time? To, do we get time to recuperate after each wave? Like, <laughs> uh, like reposition ourselves after each wave. Yes, you will. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to use my <clears throat> I'd like to use my dash action to move up next to Wesley. Yep. Oh, and because I might not be hidden. Well, I might not have advantage, but because of my sneak attack, if um, would 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 um, hmm, would it be like that there's a rule with the sneak attack where if on the website it says uh, you don't need advantage on the attack roll of another enemy if the target is within five meters of it, that enemy isn't incapacitated and you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. So would that give me like because I'm near Wesley and Wesley as well. Almost adjacent to the um, Type 61 tank, would that make me able to do a sneak attack? Uh, unfortunately not, since you guys are about 20 meters away from it right now. Uh, if Wesley was adjacent to it, then then yeah, you'd fair have enough. it. But... Do you still have some movement speed left? From the dash, yes, I would have, because it's 12. I can do 12. Yeah, you should be able to move okay, so I'm, squares. I want, okay, then I want to move directly. Oops. Then I want to move directly next to the Type 61 tank, and I want to just try to. I I want to try to um. Give it the hot nails. <laughs> I want to try to uh, try to pierce it like right through the cockpit with my iron nail. Because right. I can do piercing or slashing damage. I just gonna need a bit of flavor in my life. I I approve. Thirteen so, definitely um, hits, and uh. Yeah. Um, just the uh, iron nail goes. Heat server goes straight through the cockpit and leaves like only a smoldering molt metal mass. <laughs> Indeed, that's exactly how it goes down. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's wave one. Congratulations, guys! You cleared wave one. You will have ba -ba 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 -bum, three minutes before wave would two it, starts to reposition would it be ourselves. Would it be possible for us to repair the HLVs for the launching? I suppose not. Um, unfortunately, no. Mm, fair enough. Okay. Even if you have the, I feel, the... I feel, like, I feel like there's probably too much energy going through the system for it to. Yeah. yeah. So um. You wouldn't want to fix a uh, electronics while they're still active, I guess. <laughs> it's well, be about... it, it is literally <laughs> rule one of rule one of doing maintenance. Make sure it's turned, it's isolated and grounded. Well, right. if you look at a machine, I bought myself two emergency repair modules. Hey. Hmm. Would they work on the HRVs? Well, they can be... Well, we, 
If I call, we could use these during combat. So it makes sense for us to to use them on a HLV. Yeah, you could use it on an HLV. Oh yeah, uh, do you have a Google saying we could spend a bonus action to to uh, heal ourselves with a uh, repair patch? Um, yeah, it using like using the uh, the emergency repair kits counts as a bonus action. Okay. I think they're they're fine because. Yeah, they haven't taken uh, too much damage. I think one of them took like 7 yeah. points and one took like 12. Yeah. But yeah, you guys should be able to see their uh, their health bars. Yep. Cool, cool. Um, hmm. Mm, let's see. Would it be... Um, does someone have a high skill in demolitions? So we have three minutes to the next one. So, mm -hmm. does someone have high? Does someone have high demolitions? Uh, uh, I do. Um, we got a plus three would it be on. a plan to maybe? I don't know if it would be possible in such a short amount of time. Would it be possible to maybe? Set maybe not like... necessarily booby trap, but um. Yeah, you could set some make mines. something make but make but make something useful out of like one of the fallen and the tanks on the gem. I feel like that would probably that I probably could. I could probably at least make like a smoke screen grenade. Yeah, something like, like that. Like, especially, at least, especially, and, especially from the two that were to the south that that didn't yeah, use that, theirs. Yeah, would that be possible to like make uh, make one base yeah, to a, a prop smoke discharge for us? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and uh, give me a demolitions check. All right, that is plus three high. Hi, uh, hi, engineering. Don't fail me now. Eight is not bad. That's what that is altogether. So yeah, you uh, uh, you did manage to salvage um, enough of like the smoke great grenade from one of the tanks to create a sort of small diversionary smoke screen. We'll say that um, that you basically created a smoke grenade that you can deploy up to 150 decameters away, so you'd basically be slinging it as a regular action, um, right. and everything in a 40 decameter cube of where that hits um, is obscured for three rounds. All right then. So how many how many of those did I make? Uh, we'll say two, since there were two uh, tanks left. And then, uh, Wesley, can you actually oh. go ahead and give me a an investigation check real quick? Uh, before, bef can I, bef sorry, before you do that, I just want to quickly interrupt. As Jin is, be as Jin is melee, I walk over and hand him one of the grenades. Sick. Thanks. So, he, ha he has a way to cover his approach. Alright, fair. I've got, I've got another one, but I think I'd rather hold on to it. Mm. You aren't so bad after all. <laughs> um, all right. But, um, Wesley, can you give me that uh, investigation check? Okay, give me a minute. No worries. While he's doing that, you guys hear over the uh, comm system the voice of the Xeon colonel that, was, uh, that gave you your instructions. Thank yes, you for clearing this floor that wave. Floor. What's that? Mm, yes, this floor is made of floor with a three <laughs> investigation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so unfortunately, you weren't able to find any uh, additional supplies uh, while searching through uh, through the fallen enemies. All right. Now, I'm going to need some fresh initiative from everybody. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, you guys can probably hear that, can't you? I was sorting some cable tidies to the back of my desk. Oh, no worries. I don't hear anyone. Got it. Got it. So, there's the second. There's the second GM. Sixteen. <laughs> so we got. So we can we can we reposition before that? Um. Yeah, you'll be able to reposition. 
Okay, I'm gonna, cool. so I'm gonna, my, I'm gonna go, back, I will... go back to I'm gonna go in front of the uh, the HL HL so, bit launcher this time. I accidentally rolled twice, but the first roll I assume that's gonna count, so it's sixteen. Yeah, I'll take the uh, first one. I'll okay. take my I'll take up my um Well I'm gonna Hmm Can the uh, tanks get in from like from up here or up here as well? They can. Uh, there are no Okay. Would it be smart for us to like have one of us mobilize more like here, one of us here, and Wesley and have Wesley stay there? I split up a bit more. Hmm. Uh, I am gonna, if that's possible again, I want to hide in the hangar. All right. So I'll just roll up that. Not as well sneak, as well sneak stealth view. Yeah. And let's go ahead and. Yeah, that's a twenty two in stealth. and 16 I'm missing one of my tanks uh, there we are and we'll need one more initiative roll oh man that's terrible all right mm -hmm. So, the top of the round belongs to one of the enemy units. Uh, let's... Let's see here. Yeah. Are we just using the same initiative rolls? Uh... Because, I, because if... Because the, apparently the one that I rolled didn't go through. Oh, did it not? No. I, I clicked on it, I was like, yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> but it did not go through. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll another one then. Uh, I actually forgot to put in Wesley's new roll. Oh, 16, that's not bad. Okay, good deal. It's better than last time. <laughs> All right. And then... One, two, three, four, five. So this GM is charging, but does not get too close. And up next is one of other enemies. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He is in range to fire on the northeastern HLV. But with a roll of nine, um, Wesley, you see cannon fire coming from the north. Uh, grazing over the top of the HLV, which brings us to, actually all three of you are going to be going up like at the same time, uh, so it's going to be Jin, and then Wesley, and then Roy. Um, hmm. So Jin, is your turn, Wesley, you are on deck. So, hmm. I'm still, I'm heading in this thing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Another quick peek. So we don't know how many waves there will be, right? No. Okay. I'm um. For now, I'll just stay here in there. All right. Uh, Wesley, your turn. Well, after seeing the tank fire, I'm going to shoot at it. All right, I I think that's pretty pretty much in range for you. Ooh, so unfortunately, with a five, you are going to miss. Um, so you raise your beam rifle, but the but the tank is still just a little too far uh, for you to make a clean shot at it. 
Now, did you want to move at all, or are you going to stay put on top of that building? No, I shall continue taking the high ground. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Roy, your turn. Roy son. Are you there? Oh. Pyro, I think, think your internet has died. I think Roy might be um Oh right, there we go. Is that back? <laughs> you're back? back. <laughs> yeah, you're back. There we go. <laughs> Good deal. You, I'm very glad that my Mac had cut out because I was swearing repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh I'd say the biggest threat at the moment is currently that GM ground, isn't it? It's GM ground that's coming up from the east. Uh, hey. Give me a perception check. Let's see if I can even see it. Mm -hmm. uh, an 80 then? Is that an advantage because others have spotted it? Uh, yeah. So would... yeah, we'll go ahead and give you advantage on that. So, right. um, what you have identified about this GM, it's a, uh, it's a newer model GM, it is a ground type, and it is wielding a rocket launcher. So, that is very high priority. And we know this info as well as his teammates. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, so... I assume you relay okay. that information to, uh, to the rest of the squad. I am going to... Uh, range check on that quick. Uh, I somehow, I somehow doubt it's outside the six hundred decimeters, but yeah. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, Yeah, it's about one hundred and ninety. So you're still, you don't even take disadvantage to. Bang. Well, actually, you would take disadvantage because you're kind of firing through these buildings. Yeah. Hmm. There's nowhere I can really move to get that in a clear line of sight, is there? No. Can't you jump? <laughs> well, I suppose I, I suppose I could like fly upwards and do it, but I feel like that would probably still give me disadvantage. Uh... Probably because you aren't really. I mean, you are just uh, in mid air, and you have to consider like the gravitational like you falling yeah. or you going up as well with your tra okay. trajectory. Is that is that a fair assessment? I would have you make a uh, an acrobatics check if you were going to do that, and depending on whether or not you succeed on that check will determine whether or not you take disadvantage on the roll. All right, well, so let's it's kind find of out. zero sum because it's like if you jump or like it's a it's a win win situation because it's like if you jump and you fail the roll, then you have disadvantage anyway. But if you jump and you hit the roll, then you'll you get rid of the disadvantage you would have had. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for to get rid of disadvantage. Fifteen. Oh, That's not bad. Fifteen. How good will is do it? Though? Fifteen will do. Fifteen will do. <laughs> so yeah, you can make that attack without disadvantage. I'm a dumbass. I haven't been adding my proficiency to any of these weapon attacks. <laughs> I am a fucking dumbass. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I've had a, a fairly long day. <laughs> Oh, I got 12. It's better than I was rolling last time. <laughs> um, let me see. I don't recall what his uh, evasion rate was. You should probably have this noted down. I know. I've got to... Uh, <laughs> I have to like, keep checking the... Uh... So, unfortunately, you barely miss. Um, but oh, yeah, Wesley, it's, it's crazy because you just kind of like you hear the jump jets of of this uh of a mobile suit behind you and you see Roy's camper just hovering in the air and firing a uh, a sniper rifle shot down i assume it's a sniper rifle this time yes <laughs> uh firing a sniper rifle shot down that hits near the feet of this uh ground gm that is behind you which brings mm -hmm. us to the other gm's turn I feel like I've just made myself a very easy target here. <laughs> I, I did not think this through. <laughs> well, also, uh, do the walls count as half cover? Because, uh, well, they can be fired over. 
Oh yeah, I mean like if you yeah. if if you if you're obscured by like a building, then then all attacks yeah. made uh, are going to be at disadvantage. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm not. I'm I'm floating currently. <laughs> only, this was probably a mistake. <laughs> only for this turn. It's not like you can like stay in the air. So it's it's more like a jump, and then you'll descend. Yeah, much well jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling you know, that I'm going to, that I'm being dead weight in this fight. Funny enough, the song jump is funny enough. The jump song jumps about suicide, which might be what you just did by jumping. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hey, have you guys ever realized the walk to dinosaurs actually about nuclear annihilation? That that is significantly uh, less. Oh no, that actually makes sense. <laughs> I was like just thinking of the lyrics. Yep, that actually that checks out. <laughs> yeah, open the door, get on the floor. <laughs> kind of. A... <laughs> so speaking of speaking of an alien, they have one of the best lines from the song. It's probably one of the most backhanded insults ever. The line, you know, you're semi good looking. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the best. Oh, it's one of the best like backhanded compliments ever. All right, so now this GM has closed in range of the HLV launcher and is going to fire a rocket at said HLV launcher. Whew. Wesley, you watch as the rocket just barely clears past and uh, and does not connect to uh, to the launcher. It is safe for the time being. Let me make sure. Oh no, it's not because he actually has two attacks. <laughs> oh, lovely! Well, the, the ground GM. Yeah, the ground GM does. Okay. Lovely. And with a nine as his second roll, he fires another rocket clear of the uh, HLV. So safe by way I'd, I'd of say, terrible I'd say, aim. I'd say these, I'd say these Fetty pilots suck, but I've done about as well as them so far. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I can say they suck, but it would be also admitting my own failures. <laughs> Um, Type 61 tank opens fire on the HLV launcher and misses as well. He, unfortunately, does not have multi-attack. Which brings us to Jin. Your turn, sir. Hmm. Well. What I'm going to do is... Far from being retarded. Um, let's see. One. One. Two. Three, four, five. Um, I would like to because the tank it's behind the buildings. Oh well, in between the buildings, isn't it? Uh, uh, this one. It tank. is closer yeah. to me. I'd like to do is do I have the range on my thingy thingy? Do I have the range on my rest round and machine guns to hit it from there? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so and I'm still hidden. So what I'd like to do. I'd like to go for a sneak attack with my wrist mounted machine guns. All right, so go ahead and make a ranged attack, and we'll use the advantage. Yes, that's... Well, I think either way it would have hit. That's 18, that's 6, plus 4, plus 5, so... No, it's not a critical. It's, um... Well, actually, it is... No, it is not. It's, never mind. it's um, 6 plus... F yeah, 6 plus 5, so 11 damage. 11 damage? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't... So yeah, you uh, do fire on it, and I would say like, you know, mm -hmm. five of the six six rounds that you put okay. uh, towards it make connect, like connect with the uh, with the chassis of the tank, um, um, leaving but, it just peppered with a uh, with rounds. But my comp but my compadre, you forgot one thing. I uh, I also have Vulcan guns. Hey, and, and the Vulcan guns have a significantly less range, I think. Yeah, what's the range on those? I'm gonna have a check real quick because I haven't noted the down in my weapons. The upgrades. Uh, let's just Ryan stop being retarded. Let's see. Um, Vulcan guns. Where did you put the Vulcan guns in? Are they in the weapon section on the website? Uh, yes. They used to be in the upgrades, I think, but I'm gonna peek on the weapons now. One sec, yeah, No worries. I can't find him on the. Hmm. Oh, Vulcan guns here. Vulcan guns is. It's a hundred slash three hundred, so I should be able to make that shot, right? Oh yeah, 
Yeah, it's less than 10 squares. Okay, so I want to... Um, so go ahead and bonus action. I will, yes, I want to use my bonus action to Vulcan the Fucker. 14 will hit. And... That, that wouldn't count as a sneak attack, would it? Well, or would it because it's directly after? Um... I don't think it would. I don't think it would, no. just because you kind of announced your presence with the uh, with the wrist mounted well, machine that's, gun. Uh, so that's that's a one. Hey, every Isn't it? every point counts. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> every point counts. So um. So yeah, you just sprayed this tank with a uh, with ballistic rounds. Okay, and since I'm not. Hmm. I'm not in melee range, so if I were to reposition, I wouldn't uh, open myself up to an uh, attack of opportunity, would I? No, no. Because mm, I still have all my movement speed. Um, I'm, I'm back. Sorry, I had I had to go open the back door for dog. Oh, no mm. worries. Otherwise, I because I don't really want him pissing up the cipher. <laughs> um, I'm going to reposition one. Uh, do you see these, like, generator... Um, oh, yeah. Ish? I don't know what it is. Can I... Would it be... If I hide behind there, would it be, like, on, like, half or... Uh, half cover or three quarters cover? Um, yeah, I mean, if you're behind them, it, it'll... It'll have disadvantage yes. on the attack anyway. I wanna... Um, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move there, then. Yeah. And that's... With that, I end my turn. Excellent. Jesus Christ. It sounds like a... It sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> oh... Wesley, that brings us to you. Seeing that the bazooka is a bigger threat. So I'm I'm just moving my token to to gate to gauge distance. Oh no worries. Okay, so that is a viable strategy I can do. I will hit this guy with my sword. All right. Again with the ones. <laughs> so yeah, I'm afraid that the uh, the five will miss. Um, I think that you were just like, as you were jumping down from the top of this building, just narrowly dodging the rockets coming from the uh, from the ground type GM. You uh, were just a little too distracted to bring down your Naginata uh, on top of him. Um, Bonus action. Offhand. Yeah. You can do that. Do a, uh, a that seven. A seven, unfortunately, will also miss. It's a big oof. Oh man, sorry about okay. that. Okay, okay, he's got sneak attack. He's got like double attack. And I'm just sitting. And I'm just sitting here. I'm, I'm just sitting here with uh, slightly more guns than the average American household. <laughs> slightly. Um, well, that will bring us to your turn, Roy. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going, and can I get a range check between me and the early type GM, please? The early type? Uh, five, ten, he's about 150 decameters away. Brilliant, I don't have advantage. One of my shoulder cannons falls down into firing position. Oof. I can only do this four times, but it should do quite a lot of damage, and I'm hoping to just completely wipe this one off the map. Because you guys, right. you guys have, you've got someone on the the rocketeer, so so that is a just another that is shoulder cannons is reactions, so that is plus one. Thirteen. Oh, Thirteen, I'm afraid, does not connect. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got an evasion rate of fifteen, unfortunately. What the fuck even is my luck today? <laughs> oh man, you, we, luck today. We gotta beef up that uh, that reaction score. Those those are rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think I, I seem to remember the trade off. The trade off I made was that oh my is that my. Uh, that I've got really high engineering, so I, I just, like, walk up to them and be like, what up, nerd? <laughs> oh, 
All right. So that'll bring us to the GM itself, and he is going to close in on you. Two, three, four, five, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You are within range for his hot little beam spray gun. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> um, does a sixteen hit? Um, a sixteen hits. Yes. All right, then you are going to suffer a a measly seven points of energy damage. It is bold of you to assume you can stop me. <laughs> um, that will bring us to the tank, who will open fire on the HLV launcher. Wait, where is that tank? Oh, it's this tank. Never mind. Um... He's going to open fire on Jin then. Oh god. Oh. But it's with disadvantage since you are under cover of ruined buildings. Hell yes. Uh does a seventeen hit. A seventeen definitely hits. Alright. Is it but it's um ballistic damage, isn't it? Correct. Or what does it mean? Okay, it's ballistic damage. And um I still have the cause you said I could keep it when I asked you. While back, I sell the full armor, the full armor upgrade on my high cog. Ah, so you reduce and that, it by that, half. Yes, I reduce it by half. So then you take a a measly. That's rounded up. That's rounded up. I think, isn't it? Uh, normally, I mean, that doesn't it doesn't really apply here, but yeah, normally it would be rounded up, but uh, yeah, but so in this case, I, I mean, it's only it's only three, three damage. <laughs> Oof, that's like, <laughs> no, that's um, yep, yeah, cool. All right. And that will bring us back to the top of the round, the GM ground type. Uh is now being held at bay by Wesley, so he is going to take a swipe with his beam saber at Wesley. That is an 18 to hit. That matches so it hits. Oh. So, you will suffer nine points of slashing damage? Unless you don't have any resistances or anything like that, do you? I, I have resistances to slashing. Oh, you do? Then That's the beauty of a Galgoog. <laughs> then uh, you will only take five points of damage from that first swipe. Um, he has two attacks, so he is going to make a second roll. 16 does not hit, because you have uh, 18 total uh, evasion, yep. correct? So, that is his turn. Then it is the tank opening fire on the HLV launcher. Huh. Let's see here. A 24, which is a critical hit on the HLV launcher, so it is going to take a total of 13 points of damage. And that brings us to Jin, your turn. And Wesley, you're going to be up after him, so. Hmm. So... Uh, okay. Okay, I want to try and use my bonus action again to shoot with my Vulcans. Wait, let me. Ch I'm gonna check one thing really quickly. Vulcan guns have twelve ammo. Okay. Vulcan. Eleven out of twelve. Okay. Can I try to shoot the um um tank closer to me, my Vulcans again then? Yes, but that attack will be at disadvantage since you're behind those. Oh, buildings. um, shit. Oh, even for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Um. Mm, I'm gonna move out of the way slightly this way. That is totally would acceptable. That, would that still be disadvantage? <laughs> uh, no, no. You. you okay, cool. So I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll use my smoking <laughs> guns. To shoot the tank and hopefully, by God, it hit. Does it hit? Oh no. yeah. Well. Oh yeah, that'll hit. Okay, cool. Deal. So um. Four points that... of damage. 
you yeah. have destroyed the Type 61 tank. <laughs> okay, so that was my bonus action. Now, for my regular action, I'd like to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd like to move here. <laughs> I'm just giggling at the fact that, like, you basically I'm went. Five. Peekaboo! Yeah, <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> well, uh, um, it was me to go peekaboo and then blow him the fuck away with the shoulder cannon, but you know, I missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my five, that's my 50 remaining DM. I want to move him. Sure. So that will be here. And then I want to use my regular attack to shoot with my wrist mounted machine guns and try to blow him the fuck away. <laughs> That is acceptable. I guess. So that's the that would be a critical hit, wouldn't it be? Uh I believe so. That would be a critical hit, so that would be five to seven, that would be a total of fourteen damage. Fourteen damage to the type two type sixty one tank. That goes up in that, smoke. That'll take him out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice Five and oh. <laughs> GMs GMs hate him. Play that. <laughs> Find out why. No. Um, oh, hmm. all right. I think that brings us to Wesley's turn. Yeah. Who is currently toe to toe with this ground type GM? I cast sword. <laughs> Can you die with dance for no? Um. Let me see. I don't. I think his evasion rate's 15. Yeah, his evasion rate's 15, sadly. So 14 will not hit. Man. <laughs> offhand. Yeah, you could go ahead and give it the offhand swipe. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, why couldn't you have rolled that one with your, uh, <laughs> with your added proficiencies? Um... So yeah, 13 is going to fall short as well. Uh, did you want to stay engaged with him? I mean, if you if you move now, you would provoke the uh, attack of opportunity, so... No, I'm staying. Stay put. Stand your ground. Yes. All right. That will bring us to Roy's turn. All right, then. Where is Roy? Uh, is. <laughs> I'm down south. <laughs> the south side. Uh, yep. Do one, two, three. Move to there and fire my beam machine gun. Beam machine gun away. I don't know if this plan will work. Eleven. Damn it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Why am I What's that? Oh, I mean, it, it still would miss, but I still have got to add proficiency. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's still a miss, but I need to remember to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, because that would only be uh, thirteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't that would make my thirteen earlier would have hit. Actually, I don't know. Does shoulder cannons get proficiency? They I do. should. Yeah. Oh, in which case that my shoulder cannon would have hit earlier. God, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's my it's my fault for forgetting. It's fine. Well, um, I, I mean, when that 13 you will be 15? Yeah, the, thir the 13 I would have rolled would have been a 15 to have added my proficiency. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, well. Well. Turns out I, turns out I suck, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Well, this GM is going to get up close and personal with you, and uh, oh, drawing, right. <laughs> drawing a beam saber from behind its shoulder is going to take a swipe at you. That is a critical hit. Ouch. Uh, dealing, I should be able to take it. Dealing a grand total of uh, 12 slashing damage. Um, do, do you have any resistances to slashing damage? Uh, no, I do not. So I'm just going to take that. Like a boss. Yep. This was the original plan. <laughs> In case you could tell, it, so far it's not working. <laughs> Um, the t 
Type 61 tank, I believe. Oh, yeah, all the Type 61s have been taken out. Thank you, Jin. Oh, for... <laughs> no problem. I'm just doing, like... See, I was a bit worried at first because I'm like, hmm. Like, with my sneaking and stuff, I'm like, hmm, I'm more, like, suited to... Ducking in and out of water, like, I'm more suited to be the attacker. But, you know, this is turning out pretty well so far for me. Yeah. Been, been and I don't pretty... want to. I shouldn't try to run my mouth because I got fucking. In. <laughs> pretty high DPS. Yeah, uh, that's. But I'm very. Well, I took the full armor and I have good movement speed and disengage. So I try to disengage myself, but I'm quite squishy. So, <laughs> so the uh, GM ground type is going to have another swipe at Wesley with his beam saber, uh, but a 10 is going to miss. And then with his second attack, a 22, I think, will hit. But. Uh, it's gonna be two damage. He will only deal two damage with his uh, with his weak little beam saber. Um. All right, that brings us to Jin. So. So you, you're you're probably like equidistance away from the two GMs. <laughs> okay, so. So it just depends on who you're gonna who you're gonna help. <laughs> I got this. Worry, worry about the ground. Worry about the ground, Jim. He's in melee range down. I also have a beam saber. Um. Okay. So what I would like to. What, what's the range on the smoke grenade? Uh, it's 150, so 15 squares. Um. Um. Pyro, would you like it if I threw a smoke grenade away so you'd have a bit of... Oh, I, I, I still have a smoke grenade. No, well, no. I got like, two and I gave you because, one. Because you said it would take a full action to throw. Yeah, it would. So yeah. you could, whilst I'm, I throw I'm, it, you for could... Now, for now, I'm alright. Okay, good. Then I will probably... I'm going to get really angry if I fucking die. <laughs> Um, will you be alright, Wesley? Like, yeah, do you think uh, you can hold? Do you think you can hold off the ground, GM? Yes, I, I, I can hold him off. Then I'll dash my pretty little amphibious ass towards, <laughs> uh, towards Roy. One, and, people, two, and, pe and people, and people, and like, he's like, like your beautiful amphibious ass, and the people are taking the mick out of me for playing a man roadie in the Iron Blade Elvis <laughs> campaign. <laughs> Well, I just think it's funny. Wesley and Roy, you're probably watching Jin's high gog just like jetting in and out between buildings and just like. Uh, so I'm. Like, okay, so I'm now. Yeah, I'm now standing. <laughs> turns, out mo turns out mobile, mobile suits optimized to be, to be moved, like uh, to be able to be moved underwater. Pretty effective on land. With <laughs> Good. Much less Let's see. You know, I put it just very. It's, the humidity is just very high. <laughs> it's like raining. It. That's how. Okay, how... so now I've moved here. Yeah, I've used all my movements. I won't do. How are we being outshone by a literal fish out of water? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I want to uh, try and shoot the um, uh, GM early type with my three barrel wrist machine gun. At least that would still be in range, I assume, because the range uh, on that is fifteen. Mm. So. One, two, three, four. And five. yeah, it'd be more than a range, yeah. And you also get advantage on that attack since he is currently engaged to so uh, engaged would I, with, would, not so engaged so that to. He's not so engaged would that be a, would that be a sneak attack on my part as well? You would deal sneak attack damage, yeah. Hell yeah, so I'm gonna shoot that fucker. <laughs> With a red limit bullet, right. Oof, it's a good that's, thing you did have advantage on that attack because the eight was a, not going to hit. No, that's a uh, 22, it's 3 ballistic, plus 4, plus 9, so that's uh, 16? Um, 16. Well, you wouldn't get the crit, unfortunately, but oh, you do well, get Oh, well, because advantage is disadvantage, so wouldn't I, why wouldn't I get the... Well, I roll the advantage roll, don't I? Yeah, so with the advantage, you get to add the sneak attack, but you don't get to add the crit unless you get the, uh, the natural 20. Oh, right, sorry, okay, cool. So that's uh, still 12 damage. Yeah, um... Let's go ahead and deal that. You have okay, successfully cool. evened the odds in one fell swoop. Good. <laughs> Which... you've, done more, you've done more in one turn than I have this entire fucking battle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you and Wesley have just had some rough rolls. Implying I've had good rolls, Hatter. <laughs> Uh, I'm just a dirty man. No, I'm not even a man, Max. I'm just no, a dirty no, no, man. Like, I'm, I'm, my explosives, Jack. I'm just very meticulous about my characters, so I want to be bad for everything. Uh, Wesley, your turn. Are you going to uh, continue wailing on the ground, GM? Yes. <laughs> okay, this time I'm not going to attack with my hotkey. Okay. Try doing it just, uh... Just naturally. <laughs> Dice. Dang it. What's wrong with you? Okay, I'm going to a flash. Wait, wait, did I cut out there for a second again? No, nah, yeah. I, I was just refreshing. Yeah, I think he refreshed the tab to see if we can't uh, get some get some decent rolls in here. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Q Gordon Off hand Ramsey. misses. <laughs> oh, I keep yeah. missing. So you keep swiping away, but this uh, this ground GM just happens to have a heavy shield that he's you know kind of deflecting uh, your your blows with. Hmm. Um. Um. Which will bring us to Roy. Okay. I was to say this: you can also do the uh, the main in a in offhand slash that I've been doing. Yeah, I, I'd give you that. You can. Uh... So, so I can offhand slash. Yeah, as a bonus action, you can offhand. Um, you don't get to add any modifiers to it; it's just a raw d20. But that is <laughs> good. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my plus two, so I have a plus two to a beam saber attack. Hell yeah! Oh, is that a critical? <laughs> that is a critical hit! Nicely done, my friend. Okay, Go I, roll I, some I, still damage for my, me. I still didn't have my proficiency, but it works! <laughs> <laughs> so that is. And that's just an extra D8, isn't it? Yeah. So you double so your uh, dice damage. 2d8 plus will, which is a 2. If I crit fail this, I'm going to fucking scream. <laughs> <laughs> yes? <laughs> nice. Oh, I like he's like, he slashed down, he's got like this gout, this gout in my jaw. I look up and he realizes he fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, guess what I'm gonna do? Offhand. 16 bang, will hit. Bang. And that's another 1d8. Plus two. Four. So I can leave with that. It wasn't that a critical is... fail. That will destroy the GM. So he made the mistake of of stepping to you and got... I, I, take, I take back what I said earlier. This plan is working perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right, that brings us to the top of the round again, which means it is the GM ground type. And uh, he is going to do something kind of crazy. He is going to uh, break away from Wesley. So, Wesley, oh, you get uh, an attack of opportunity on him. Will, that, will he also be able to offhand it? Nope. No, it'll just be a natural attack. But a twenty-two does hit. How much? Uh, how much damage do you do? Oh, well, duh. It's a ten slashing. <laughs> so, yeah. you uh, you successfully swipe at him with your beam naginata as he's backing away from you, and then he is going to loose a rocket at the HLV launcher in a desperate uh, suicide attack. Uh, unfortunately, the ten does not hit. He loses one more rocket. Twelve does not hit either. So he really just has terrible aim. <laughs> that brings us Mood. to... Mood. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jin's turn. Uh, how ironic is it that the British man is doing terribly with guns? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just... how, how funny is it that the Dutch man is doing very good with aquatic mobile suit? <laughs> um... Hmm. So, uh, let's see. 
I would like to dash towards. No, I guess I would like to dash towards the GM ground type. Like so, I'm like right up next to the melee range. Would that be possible? I think it would be. I think so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, That's eleven, it. twelve. Unfortunately, you can, get, you can get right to where Wesley is, but you can't get within ah. melee range. If you guys can keep him distracted that way, I'm gonna try and flank him. Okay, cool. I'll um, I'll use my bonus action to get right up to where Wesley is. Okay. Right next to Wesley. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just try to like, actually get like, in front of me if you dash. I'm just gonna try to. Uh, um. Jin. Yeah. You, you could actually get to, to the square in, in front of me if you did a, a, a few diagonal moves. Oh, did I miscount? Would it be yeah, you miscounted. Oh, yeah. Five. Can I get can I get up in front of him then? Yeah. Well, I jump in... Uh, Jin jumps in between Wesley and between the ground gems. And I want to try to attack with my iron nail. Iron nail time. 19. So, and um, also, a uh, funny thing, I have a feat called Critical Strike, which extends my critical range um, once, well, once per turn if I use it with a regular attack, by my proficiency modifier. And since my proficiency modifier is 2, and my so, natural uh, crit range is, well, it's 20, so it's now it's 18 through 20, so that should be a critical hit as well, shouldn't it? That makes it a critical hit, so that's going to be so, four plus yeah, one. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going to do um, basic damage. Right. Okay, so yeah, it's a uh, what eight total? Uh, it's it's a four basic, one eight, so that's five plus plus the three for no. the crit. No, it's six eight because it's a critical. Oh right. So... The sneak doesn't. Hmm. No sneak isn't yeah. because it's not. Yeah, you don't yeah, get so to that add means... the sneak, but you do get so to add So let's see, it's 4, 1, that's 8, so that's 8 plus, that's 14, yes, that would be 14. That's a big hit. Jesus. <laughs> so, um... Wesley, you just see, like, <laughs> this this high gog just charging through the streets and then just, like, ram its iron nail through the torso of this uh, GM. What well, the, the dark. The dark is one of it gets him a center parting. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then being I think saved. that was my. That will be my turn because I use my bonus action and my regular. Yeah. So, yeah. So Wesley, you are up. I get behind. So that would give him. Would would it give him advantage because that's flanking. You do have advantage on that attack. Good man. Now. <laughs> Now wail on this. <laughs> Poor GM. 23 will do it. So... Is it, that is 11 damage. Uh, oh, I think it'll be... It's uh, going to be 5. Because... Because you got 23 well, to hit, but uh, but I don't uh, think you uh, Yeah, 5. It. Yeah, yeah uh, naturally. Uh, but yeah. you can uh, you can add that extra offhand attack if you wanted to. Eighteen hit as well. No, that's sixteen. Uh, I thought doing the. It, it, if you look, it's two d twenties. If you. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Okay, well, yeah. sixteen still hits. So. So an additional seven damage on top of that. That's just twelve. Twelve. So you dash behind this. Uh behind this GM and you can see the iron claws sticking out of the other end of it and you just slash into its back and then shield bash it uh, for an additional uh... Oh look at that, they bonk <laughs> Really there you, you just hear a dull thud <laughs> I'm actually saying this Why is the Mantis Captain from Black Clover in a mobile suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh All right, Roy. Come on, fella, finish it. 
Bro, I unless I want to do the stupid jump again. Actually, what is? One sec, let me do one, two, three, four, five. You know what? That seemed to work last time. I'm gonna do the like jump and try and jump and do that again, because I'm nothing if not incredibly stupid. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and uh, make a, an acrobatics check. Yep. I fucking knew it. Uh, I'd like to undo that, please. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll take it like a fucking man. So, um, go ahead and make a, an engineering saving throw. Oh, oh, good. So that's a uh, plus three with proficiency. Remember that. Mm. Twenty-two. So you successfully managed to prevent uh, your rear thrusters from uh, from misfiring and and uh, exploding on on your back. I'm sorry, I just just like just like my cover, just a little hop forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, so unfortunately, you still will uh, have disadvantage on the attack if you choose to make it. But um, but yeah, apart you know from what? that, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. <laughs> So that is a plus one. Control C that. I swear, if this is a crit, this first one's a crit. 19 and four. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, you take the four and uh, and you uh, you miss with that five. I was, ex I was expecting the big jump, but I only did the little hops and just pinged <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you fire into some of those buildings. Fortunately, what is, the what buildings is have been luck? cleared out. <laughs> so you what didn't is, kill any civilians. Yeah, what is my luck? So, really uh, bad. I don't know why I've been so unlucky. <laughs> I don't know. It's... You and me have to be unlucky. Um, well, <laughs> I, I, I'll just, I'll, I'll just shut up. I'll just shut up. Oh. <laughs> I think Jin's luck is about to run out because this, uh... This ground type GM is gonna have a couple swings at him with the beam saber. Uh, twenty-one to hit, and that will deal five slashing, but that's reduced by half because you have the full armor benefit. Correct. Well, full armor is only ballistics damage, is it not? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was against slashing as well. So no. Uh, you no, would... I thought, as far as what I know, I was correct. Like, I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just being fair. <laughs> even if it's like... You are punished for your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but the um, it should be um, wait, let's see if I don't have any other feed. Like if I can't like scam my way out of this, um, <laughs> no, it it would be five damages. And the second attack, I think, is going Please to land as well. Down. A twenty. Yes, to be ten damage. Ten, well, ten. That'd be um, oh. sixteen damage in total. Wouldn't it, because it's a critical. Uh, no, it, it's not a critical. It's oh, a, it's an okay. it's a unnatural twenty. <laughs> oh, cool. So, um, so that'd you... be five ten damage in total. Yeah, this uh, this ground GM just <laughs> takes two swipes at you, but I can uh, live. With, I can live with that. But you guys can clearly see that this uh, this GM is not doing so hot. Uh, Jin, it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he has sneak attack. <laughs> It's time to all these carnage boys. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna use my uh, iron nail uh, as a sneak attack, and I wanna. What I would like to do is, um, I would like to uh, stick my, or try to pierce the cockpit, and basically open my iron nail as to rip the suit uh, apart from the inside, and hopefully the pilot as well. Sounds so good. I'll, Sounds like a I'll, surgical maneuver. A15 that will be definitely hit. <laughs> that 15, and because I am, we are, well, we are, there's an ally adjacent to him, well, not an enemy, at least. Right. So, that's 15, plus 4 piercing, plus 1 so heat, plus my, it's, what, it's, uh, that'd be so I, I want to refresh that That'd yeah, be 13, so. wouldn't it? Because my hit, and my regular heat, and my sneak attack. Ah, correct. So, 13... Yes, so I'm just refreshing Astral because it's not showing the damage I've taken. Has um, it been taken? It's still not taken out, has it? Uh, it actually is. So you drive your iron nail into the cockpit of this GM. Uh, you've already got nails in one part of it, but you just drive your second hand in and then open them both up and uh, 
and bisect this poor. Basically. <laughs> What's cracking it up? It's fine. Um, all right. Congratulations on clearing wave two, you guys. Well, hey, guess what I'm going to go and do? Uh, can we move the Zaku tanks to us so we could get some healing done? <laughs> Absolutely. Would it be would it, would it, would, it, would it be smart to move like one here ish and with the other one like? Here? Well, have, have one on either side. Well, I'm Please using Zaku. Like, well, not in the well in the middle, so like we can still protect them, kind of. So like one here and one here. Yeah. You know what? We could park one of them just in this in the between these two buildings here, so one attacks at a disadvantage. Well, in the alleyway. Well, that's fine. Well, park I, uh... one, park one, park one here, and park one here. You uh, you hear over over your intercom the voice of the colonel again. Thank you for clearing another wave. Unfortunately, there are more troops incoming, but we've uh managed to secure two more Zaku tanks for your use. So, it might be a plan to get two of them to like one, two, one here, yeah, one here, and have the other two, um, basically helping us with combat. Would they would be able to do combat at least? Uh, yeah, they they do have machine guns equipped. So, so we could have one here, one here, and then the other two like helping out like wherever need be. Okay. Sure. So, I'll tell you what. I will actually go ahead and uh, assign these Zaku tanks. Who would you like? Um, which of you guys would like to control a Zaku tank as well? I I think it'd be best to. No, I think it'd be best no for. I think you all. I think it'd be best for um, Roy and Wesley because I'm more. My looks been better so far, and I'm more close range, and I can get in and get out quicker. I, 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 I personally, personally, I'd argue that one of us shouldn't just because our luck has been that bad. Hmm. I mean, that's fair enough, but still, like my whole thing is, my whole strategy, at least, is hiding, popping out, uh, killing, running, hiding, killing, and the Zaku tank trading by me wouldn't really help with that. <laughs> All right. Well, I've assigned one Zaku tank to Roy and one to Wesley, uh, so you guys can each, um, you'll be able to. Perfect. Can I? Them. Let me get the stats up. Can I get some healing for? Um... Yeah, I, I could use some healing too. Oh yeah. Let me. Uh... Well, armor restoration, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, which uh, Zaku tank do I have control of? Um, I believe you have control of. The one Zaku tank, the one without a number. It's like just above the uh, HLV. Which one's mine? And you are oh. Zaku tank three. I have number three. Um. I cannot move it. You can't move it? Nope. I'm trying to select it, and it won't let me. Here, let me, uh. Let me assign it to you. Yeah, it's assigned to to Pyro. That's weird. I'm trying everything. Left clicking and pressing buttons. Hmm. No, what? fuck it. We're refreshing again. <laughs> give fuck it, it. Old, give it an old refresh. Yeah. Um, Jin, go ahead and uh, heal three armor points. Three armor points, right. Sick. And, uh, Wesley, did you want, uh... uh yeah, I, I gold. How many am I healing? Uh, healing. Uh, <laughs> how many am I healing, Hatter? Uh, five. By Zaku two. Five. That works fine. All right. Now. Okay, so uh, I know you you need new healing, so let's give me a sec. So that's and twenty eight. I am glad I remember to do this before the session. <laughs> But I'd, I'd, I just had to manually update the health bar. But I'm glad um, that I redid the calculations yesterday and found that I had 42 health rather than the 30 you, something I had before. There you how go. Do you do the, how do you do the repair thing? Is it just oh. in the garage or shoot? Uh, here, I'll, I'll roll it for you. Um, Thank you. So. You said three for me. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jin, you heal five. Hmm. <clears throat> Why is Jin glowing for me? 
I have no clue. Oh, it's just because it's uh, technically his turn in the initiative. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. All right. I, good news. I can move the Zaku three. <laughs> oh, you can move the Zaku now. Yeah. Good deal. So, um, I, I think I just needed to refresh. Yeah. Okay, so let's have Zaku three and two stay there, and mm, um, and, and I have one for yeah, the attack. Do, um, I, I will, I will probably keep Zaku if we move Zaku four to Zaku three's location. I can run Zaku three as mobile mobile support. How did you um? Did you repair my thing thing? Uh, yeah, you you heal five. But it doesn't doesn't been heal. Well, I'll just heal. Oh, do you well, want me to go ahead and? Yes, please, because I don't know how to do it. Sure, yeah. Uh, if you can just at least instruct me, please. So I think it is a total of eight, because you healed three from the one that I did, and five oh, from the one that, uh... Right, sick. So, so um... But how do you do uh, at the restore? Is it like a command? Oh, to, uh, to, to heal? Yeah, to add it to my health. So... Uh, you open your, your, uh, character sheet. Yes. Hit, hit add character. Mm -hmm. uh, click the number to the letter of your health bar. Mm -hmm. Now add three to, to, to that number. All right, sick. Oh no, it's already been added. So I had a. Uh, well, yeah. add the yeah, like add the the three, three yeah, and the five. The eight got added. Super. Nice. Where's the Where's the ogo when you need it? <laughs> Now I need all three of you to make uh, investigation checks real quick. Alrighty. That is a plus one. Because, you know, why would I have to roll anything without any, something other than a plus one modifier? Oh, 20. 20. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Investigation. Investigation. That's not bad. 17. 17. And a 12. All right. So you guys might have just seen a couple of things pop up on the map in various yeah. locations. While uh, while patrolling the area and the Zaku tanks kind of, you know, gathering intel about everything, you guys stumbled upon uh, three hidden caches of supplies. Um. Mm. So yeah, if you guys go to those locations uh, where you see them on the map uh, during combat, you will be able to uh, get some bonus equipment. Oh, Before see. next combat round starts, can I attempt to do manual repairs on my suit? Okay, so the thing with the with the well, with the equipment, um, bit of a team discussion here. It's um, I would I would get the equipment, but the thing is, uh, I can't hold equipment really. Um, I can. So, so um, I... that's all. I'll try. Like, if one of you just wants to like go for the equipment, just warn me, and I'll try to cover you. I'm. I'm not worried. I'm not too worried, but I'd rather not leave one suit with just Zaku tanks here. No, that's fair enough. Uh, I mean, well, I could. Uh, go... Quick idea: if you go ahead and scout, note import, note important equipment of what's there. Well, me. Yeah. And then, what, and then when you return, one of us can go and get it. Because it could, if we just go up there, it's like a, oh yeah, there's a beam spray gun and that's it. There's no point in one of us oh, going I'll, away from our load. So, okay, I'll try to um, focus on that because if I'm doing that, I could always like, uh, from cover, swoop behind mm. one of the uh, gyms or gun tanks yeah. or whatever we're fighting. Oh, Mostly gym. Right. I'm surprised. Before combat starts, can I attempt to make the manual repairs on my suit? Uh, go ahead and recover five uh, armor points from an additional Zaku tank repair. Okay, but I was I'm thinking more like physically, like tr try and do what mechanical repairs I can Ooh. with what I've got. Mm. Yeah, go ahead and give me an engineering check. An engineering or a repair check? Um. Yeah, go ahead and make it a, a repair check then. That is a plus five then. Nineteen. Nineteen with a nineteen. 
<laughs> you heal an additional one. So, so six, six HP. It's six more than I'd have otherwise. <laughs> there you go. Um. So. See, the funny thing is, I know exactly which mission you've ba exactly what you are going to, what you've based this on. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly. <laughs> Roughly. Um, all right. Go ahead and position yourselves, and then uh, give me some initiative rolls. Okay. Thirty-four. I'm back into the thirties. <laughs> Has it been five minutes yet? Uh, yes. We yes. We're just getting. We just need to get into position. Yeah. Okay. I'm mostly back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Because it looks like Wesley and Jin have got those. I'm going to position myself like in the middle here. Okay, can we... Before we start, can we swap tank 4 and 3's position? Yeah. Let me uh, do that. Okay. There you go. So that's a 13 for Wesley. Uh, wait, and let me build the initiative for the uh, Zaku tank. Oh, or my tank. He, he'll go at the same time as you. That oh, okay. way, that way you don't have to keep track of uh, two. No oh, accident. Yeah. Uh, that is a ten. For... Got a ten for Pyro, which means a ten for the other Zaku tank. Except I think I got him backwards. It's actually tank three is Wesley, and tank one is uh. Or I will show I will show the feet that let me add, add my proficiency to, <laughs> to to literally everything. Uh, yeah, are you, you sure it's tank three because I have, have control of tank one? Yeah, yeah. You have control of tank one, and Roy has control of tank three. I I had him backwards at first. <laughs> All right. So uh, over okay. the intercom, you hear the voice of the colonel again calling out to you guys. Good news. We've uh, managed to get the HLVs ready to launch. They should be good to go in one more minute. If you can hold us off for just that much longer, then... Uh, hmm. Unfortunately, our sonar, you, sir. our sonar detectors have uh, have called in something big. I don't, know what, I don't know what you're going to be facing, but I can tell you that it's coming from the north. She will do, Colonel. <laughs> All right. Let's some blood, boys. If you, if you'll excuse the uh the horrible British comedy, smoke me a kipper. I'll be back before breakfast. Oh. <laughs> um, um, I I have a question. Um, fire away. Uh, is the mudrug gun that doesn't count? You you said well, the colonel said big. The mudrug gun that doesn't count as a large. It enemy, does not does it? count as a large enemy. No. Oh fuck, Jane. <laughs> so I have anti-large weapons in my hands. So, yeah, I've got I've got two strapped to each, each shoulder. So. Oh, I got I got two and I got two, I got two anti large rockets in my hand. That <laughs> is a Gundam. Mm, yep. Um. So, um, team, uh, team thing here. T uh, team meeting. <laughs> team meeting. Okay, right. Let's hold it together. Um, yeah, boy, team meeting. Fuck. Boy, <laughs> um, my hand mounted rockets uh, do one d ten damage times my proficiency. So that's in this case that would be they do do two d ten damage, plus my reaction and the explosive. Uh, my my shot my shot cannons also do one d ten times proficiency. Okay, you want to go after the gun the first. Yeah. Like flank, so, like or flank it, not flank it. But you get I, I I intend to. Oh, so that would I, be. Okay. I'm going. I'm going to attempt to draw aggro aggro from that mud rock. If you if you can draw if you can draw aggro from it, I can maybe um. Well, it does stupid as it sounds. Try to sneak attack with an anti-large rocket. I mean, uh, best case, case I am the the, the best one to to aggro in melee range because you know, you are closest. That and I. Um, and this I, it might okay. This might sound really suicidal, but if you could like get to it in melee range, like literal melee range, like yeah. I could um, sneak attack it. Yeah, that's the the plan because I am the because I have resistance to slashing damage. This is true, but unfortunately, first the Mudrock Gundam is going to open fire on the HLV because it's 
he's up first. Um, let's see if it'll actually fire. 24 will definitely hit with its shoulder mounted cannons, which means that it is an additional 8 points, so a total of 21 with the first attack. <laughs> And then with its second attack, fourteen. So it misses its second uh, shoulder cannon attack on the HLV launcher, which brings us to Jin's turn. So, um, oh, shite. Um, I mean, you you can still bonus action move and shoot. Yeah, that's what I was planning on. I want to. Now, I don't want to coach you guys tactics wise, but if you <laughs> wanted to, Wesley does go after you. So, if you wanted can we... to, you well, can move into position and then hold your action until Wesley gets in range. That way, you get your advantage slash sneak attack. Um, oh, yeah. I just, I just don't want you to ignore I... a potential. So... Hmm. Okay, so Roy, could you get in range after Wesley uh, gets near him? Because what I was planning on doing, because I could hold my action, but I have two anti-large weapons, so what I was thinking is I'll move um, here first, and then I'll try to shoot, and then I'll move here, so I'm behind total. That would be total cover, right? Or wouldn't it not be? Um, like behind? Is it or is it too low? I could. Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, you would you would be behind cover. Uh, I don't know if that'd be smart or if that'd be really dumb. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just have two rockets. Um, um uh, I'll be doing. What I'll be doing. I'll like, rush. Well, I'll, I'll, Sorry, go on. Well, people are thinking, can I just like, uh, like actively, actively up against the commander and say, so, I'm sorry to say this, but it looks like a Gundam. Oh, I was afraid of this. We'd had reports, but we, we hadn't had anything confirmed. Unfortunately, none of our men have survived contact with this particular enemy. <laughs> it's more like Gundam. <laughs> Let the loser come. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence, but I can't say that I can't say that I share it. All right. So, what so do you think I'm going to, so, mm, I'm going to not be pushing anyone. I'm just going to uh, play it safe because it's a Gundam, and I'm going to hold my action still after Wesley. All right. So up next is the GM early type that is going to uh, maybe it's going to move forward if I can move it <laughs> one, two, three, four, five and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, it is going to open fire on Jin, but at disadvantage because it is uh it's spray guns because <laughs> it's a beam spray gun boring, and boring, a boring. five does not cut it no sir <laughs> no additionally because that was a critical fail all mm. right it's beam spray gun Jin. you can see this happen as it raises its beam spray gun to fire at you it sort of like explodes in its hand and unfortunately mm. well unfortunately for him his uh, beam spray gun's broken, so he cannot use it anymore. Sick. Wesley's Love turn. It. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to put a, a pair of patch on the, uh, on the launcher. Ah, excellent. Um, so that's... Uh, let, let me... Oh, yeah, I'll let you roll the... Uh, how much... Yeah. Um, it, it's, it, it will be an... An 8d4 plus 2. Nice. Oh, wait, did you want me to roll that? 
No, I'm just oh. saying it. Oh, you got it. Cool. So 18 points recovered? Yes. Nice. Nicely done. And now... I think I could get it in range. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Because with the equivalent of me jumping off the roof and just slightly gliding down. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. now... I slash with sword. Get a little sword action on him. 16 will hit. So that'll Please. do... 4 slashing um... damage. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to interrupt, but like, do you have any movement speed left? I yes. Okay, cool. Because I have my my thingy has explosive, so I just need to get you to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> All right. And is that uh, everything for your turn, Wesley? Or well, you also have control of that Zaku tank, so. Uh, hi. How many squares can this thing move? Uh, five. I've discovered something. Oh god, no. I was feeling you just saw the map for you. <laughs> I, can, I can close and lock the doors, it's great. Is that what um, is... <laughs> uh, can the tank see? No, uh, no yeah. it does not take much to amuse me. Shut up, chat. <laughs> okay. So the tank can see the, see the Gundam. Yeah. Um. Are you gonna go ahead and attack with the uh, 120 millimeter? Oh, I'm an idiot. I see that you just yep. did roll. <laughs> uh, 17, 17 does hit. So that'll be a 10 damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Jin, I believe that you were holding your action yeah, until I was holding my action. I want, I would very much like to um, move. Would I be able to? No, it's full. I want to move here, which is how many squares is that? That's like four, four, four squares. I want to move here, so I am in a clear line of sight with. The uh, what is it, the mudrock? Mudrock on them. Yeah. Okay, so my hand mounted rockets have a range of 300. Well, 300, 900, so that's, that would be more than within oh, its yeah. effective range. That's plenty. Um, Let's see, it's the, I, I have it here, so I'm just. It does explosive damage, so like, I, I, I hope I don't blow my teammate up. <laughs> that will only happen if you crit fail the roll. <laughs> Okay, um... And now watch, the crit fails, is wrong. <laughs> Dice gods, please. Ooh, 21 will definitely hit. 21. Plus 9. And it counts as a sneak attack, doesn't it? Because my hand by my patient. It does count as a sneak attack, so... But 9 plus 10 plus 7, so that's 26 damage. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, um, no, I don't think you get the crit because it wasn't a natural twenty. Oh right, okay, then that's a, then it's still. So it's a 16, sixteen. Yes. That's still a fair amount of damage. Okay, and with my bonus action, I would like to. Because I'm still being dumb. The range shall still keep having to look up the range for the Vulcan gun. Oh, um, no worries. Uh, that's I think I think it's like fifteen. It's a uh, ten think, squares. Ten squares. So I, I would be able to. Time. I would be able to hit the GM early time. Uh, one, two, three. Oh yeah, you could hit the GM. Um, I want to at least try to hit the GM early time. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen will definitely hit. So yes, a little two damage. Two. It's a little bit chipping away. A little bit. Hey. Better time. Every and, I still got, and I still got uh, two decameters of movement spot, two 20 decameters of movement speed left, so I want to back up <laughs> two squares, so I'm behind like half cover again. <laughs> Just peek-a-boo. <laughs> yeah, peek 
Um, nice. All right. Well, that brings us to Roy. Your turn, sir. It is time to yeet us that fetus. <laughs> <laughs> Five. So I'm going to move five up here. And I apologize in advance with my luck, but I'm going to attempt to snipe the... Actually, what's the distance between me and the uh, mud rock? Uh, one, two, three, four, would that be... Would, well, would that... It might just also, be... also, would I know it's called a mud rock? Or is it just the fucking Gundam, as most <laughs> the young pilots would probably call it? Uh, make a history check. Um... It's, it's, only, it's, only, it's only because if this hits, I want to make a, a witty retort towards it. <laughs> I, I'm going to let you all know right now. You're going to hit the mud. Uh, 15. <laughs> 15. So you have heard stories about this uh, particular model of Gundam. Um, this this Mudrock Gundam is the incomplete version of the, of the Mudrock that... Uh, that the uh, Midnight Fenrir encountered. Alright. Now, I will warn you <clears throat> that you will be rolling at uh, disadvantage to not hit Wesley with your shot. <laughs> that is fine. Hopefully refreshing Astral will uh, refresh your, <laughs> your rolling. Yeah. The Actually, we're we're, we're about to find out. I apologize in advance. <laughs> insert, insert Fallout meme everyone like that. Well, except Wesley. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Seven. Oh. Uh, you almost Isn't... almost hit, but uh, yeah, seven does not, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's it's probably a little wide where I was actually trying not to hit Wesley. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, yeah, you don't hit Wesley because you were you know kind of trying to shoot around him, but because you were consciously trying not to shoot Wesley. You yeah. also missed out on uh on the mud rock. Um now you do have control of the Zaku tank. Yep. Their movement speed is let me just get out their character sheet. Is sixteen. Uh, they, they were... Why the fuck are the Zaku tanks faster than me? <laughs> <laughs> well they have tank treads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah but the but the can but can pretty much hover. <laughs> So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I in range to fire their machine gun? Uh, yes, you would be. Bang. Uh, unfortunately, a six does not hit. <laughs> There's a fucking surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, right? <laughs> That is also true, but so far I've missed about 98% of the shots I have made as well, so <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> so Confolding that, your... That will bring us to the other GM that is uh, sneaking up the backside here. The GM can see in plain sight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He dashes, so he does not get a... Uh, does not get anything else on his turn, which brings us to the top of the round, the Mudrock Gundam again. Oh god, no. no I, can't, I can't believe I'm about to observe Wesley fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, will, uh, flat, I will lock the door twice for you. There you go. Wesley, you uh, get an attack of opportunity as the Mudrock Gundam, the, you see the, the jets on its skirted legs fire in front of you and it backs up That's a miss. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, a twelve does not hit. It just moved out of your range too fast for you to connect with that uh, with that slash, and it is going to. Uh, oh, I forgot to make its beam rifle a hotkey. Sorry, let me just drop that in. It is going to fire at you twice with its beam rifle. The first shot is a 21, so that will deal uh, 15 energy damage. Ow. And then with its second attack, it's actually going to uh, 
Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I just dealed 15 damage to the Mudrock Gundam. <laughs> no, leave it. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> it was holding the gun the wrong way around. <laughs> um, and with its second attack, it's actually going to launch uh, a couple of shoulder-mounted rockets at the HLV. A 24 to hit, dealing a total of 21 damage. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to move the HLV. <laughs> the HLV got shook by the damage. I, I don't know what you're about. That was the HLV taking off. We won. <laughs> GG. Um, all right, and that is the Mudrock's turn. Jin, you're up. Hell yeah. No. I am... Um, the Mudrock, did this? Did it disengage from Wesley? The Wesley did disengage from the Mudrock? Uh, it did disengage from Wesley. Hmm. Okay, I can't hit it from him because I no cares. Eh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the GM early type and I'm gonna try to take that out and then I might sneaky sneaky behind the Mudrock. Oh, oh wait, shouldn't he have disadvantage because because uh, there's a building in the way? Oh uh, no, he would still hit. Um, yeah, it's just not, it's just nice to nice to know that it, it scored lower. <laughs> yeah, lower so, what, so what I wanna do? I wanna one. Two, three, four, five, six. I just want to move up to the GM early type of a regular movement speed. So that's one, two, three, five, six. So that's right. That should be right. So yeah, he'd be like there. exactly on the corner. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty safe in the mud world Gundam. So I would like to uh, try to riddle it with bullets for my wrist mounted machine gun that you can do oh shit <laughs> uh i'll go with the first one that you roll <laughs> wait <Oops. laughs> wait a second that's 15 I yeah think. yeah yeah so uh 15 will hit actually 15 three ballistic and so it's just the well, three ballistic Oof. And um, I, for my bonus action, I would like to try yeah, to get it with my... Yeah, that, that's not what I was planning. Just try to like chip away at it as much as I can. Yeah, every little um, bit counts. Yes, that would be chip away with my focus. 15 will hit, and you roll so max right. damage, so 4. Hell yeah. Get it down. All right. Now it's actually the GM's turn. It is going to uh, dash up to you and try to try to use its beam saber since it no longer mm -hmm. has its beam spray gun. Please, no, daddy. And with a hot nine, he just like comes in and just he's just way too excited. Brings his beam saber down and misses. Yeah. Um. Which brings us to Wesley's turn. and buy the beam rifle beam rifle away and I finally hit something but minimum damage which is the energy <laughs> oh. well fortunately for you he doesn't have any damage resistances or anything like that so he will take that 3 damage alright and then did oh, you the want oh go ahead I'll go here and be in cover. <laughs> Smart. And then you uh, also have control of the Zaku tank. Yeah, the Zaku tank will shoot. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid a 12 does not hit. Okay. Did you want to move the tank at all? He's also in cover from, <laughs> from the mercy of them. Smart. All right. Roy, you are up. Yes, I am. Let's make something happen.
So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm. Do I really want to try the stupid jump thing again? <laughs> I believe the answer is yes. <laughs> All right, give me an acrobatics check. Sixteen. Jumping cannon. Um, I was, how, I was, however, on the Zaku tank, so the Zaku tank is really good at jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a success. So, uh, so you don't take disadvantage on the shot if you are going to fire down on the. Uh, I assume you're firing will, down on the mud rock. I will assume that is within two hundred. Oh yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna try my shoulder cannons again. Shoulder cannons away. Oh, come on, come on, please. Yes! <laughs> 16 will connect. So that's a d10 times proficiency, plus my reaction. So 2d10 plus your reaction? Yep. Thirteen. I can live with that. And one that, of them was a critical success. Nice. That is a respectable shot. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Plus two, fifteen. Oh. Proficiency. I've got to add my proficiency to it. <laughs> Every time with the proficiency. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, like, jet forward and pop up in the air, and you're just like, you're not the only one with shoulder cannons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you want to do anything with the uh, Zaku tank? Uh, I am going to also fire a shot at it. But also, uh, can I attempt to give it disadvantage on its next attack by taking the piss out of his Gundam? <laughs> Please. <laughs> y you tell me what you're going to say, and uh, I'm I'll going determine to, I'm, whether I'm it's... Going to say it's, it's appropriate they called it the Modrox. because I'm going to return you to the dirt where you came from. <laughs> Uh, I'll let you add an extra d6 of damage if you connect with a uh, <laughs> with, with with searing wit with like that. <laughs> with my next one, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is if you're attacking with the Zaku. Yes. Uh, he is, I'm going to move him to there. i got to say, this fight's gotten off to quite a rocky start. Hey. I mean, it's, uh, it's going alright so far for you guys. He was making a rock pun. Oh. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was, was liberal. Yes. Delivery. Uh, a 14, unfortunately, does not hit. Oh, no. Oh. Um, Can I... Okay, that, that sucks. Unless you'd rather add the d6 to the attack roll, and then I just... I will quite happily damage. add the d6 to the attack roll. <laughs> Alright, so then he'll deal uh, 6 ballistic damage to it. Yeah. He just like was so off, so caught off guard that the Zaku. <laughs> oh, and I got a critical success on the D6. Nice. Uh, da. Excellent. All right. And, and then... I, the pilot's shitting himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got the last GM early type. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, a, and an attack of opportunity from Jin. Oh no! It's this is the uh, one that's to the south. There's one to the south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's two GMs out on the oh, field. Oh shit! No. <laughs> no, I was I was kind of focused on the Gundam. <laughs> right. Fair enough. I mean, <laughs> can we have, have the two Zaku cannons that attack that gym? Yeah, there's, there's two. There's, but I say, there's two other Zaku tanks. So I feel like they'll f probably fire when in range. So. Yeah, I think he's already in range. Uh, a four and two. Yeah. All, All right, right, I'm gonna have to be a beak because I really need to piss. Okay, go. <laughs> Sounds good. All <laughs> right, so the mud rock is up. Um, it is going to fire its shoulder cannons at this poor Zaku tank. Oh god. <laughs> poor thing. Uh, I think that a thirteen hits. Let me see. I, I don't remember the Zaku tank's uh, stats. Oh, yeah. His evasion rate's uh, 8. And he is going to take 13 explosive damage.
and then with its second attack, the mud rock is going to much better. <laughs> it's going to beam rifle this poor Zaku tank. Which and one? A twenty-three to hit. He will. Of course, it's my one. Explodey this poor Zaku tank. Wesley of course, it's the one that I'm Watches in horror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jin, I Let's have a plan. Let's get game over up my little okay. remote control for you. Hit me with your plan. Because my plan was to first take out the gem in front of me with my little iron nail, hopefully. And then dash around to um, uh, do the mud rock on them. Like, if you could dash and get in and in, in front of it, I could. And you hold hold the action. I could. Could uh, yeah. move behind. A uh, question. Uh, yeah. Far away. Because I have because oh. I have a gym because I have a regular gym in front of me, so that uh, might be a problem that I want to solve first. <laughs> but you can disengage as a bonus action with your cunning. Yeah, action. that's see, That's what if I was I, planning. Out. If I move to here, can I get a clean shot on the mudrug? Uh, where are we looking? Uh, just oh, between the buildings. Slightly north of me. Oh yeah, because there's there's space yeah. between those buildings. That yeah, I, I thought I thought I'd check that before I did it. Yeah. So I so um, I think that might be planned that I try to take gym first because I can probably take that out. All right. I can. I'll try to. Uh, I I can try to take out the gym first, and then I can try to um, dash if I take it out. Dash between these buildings uh, next to the motor Gundam, so you get your. Um, Advantage, if we can flank it. Well, I mean, you could. Well, or option two is see if, if you you could one shot the gym and see what's in that box. That's what would mm, what would you? Because the mud rock is. What's the consensus here? Like check what's in the box or like uh, dash to the to what's the mud rock Gundam. Uh, up to you, my guy. But the the I feel like if the Gundam's destroyed, we've basically completed this. Well, there's still a regular gym left, but that's yeah. That's... Yes, but there's also two Zaku tanks down there. Can we you... um can we check the um loot boxes outside of combat as well? You can, yeah. Then I'd say we we should focus on the enemies first. So I'll yep. I will try to um, attack with my the gym in front of me with my iron nail, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. A um, two will definitely hit it. Okay, just so my question here is, um, because I got the critical strike uh, uh, feat, can I, and it extends my crit range by my proficiency bonus, which is two, would, I be, would it be possible to like extend it upwards as well, so like it goes up to like 21, 22? Or, would I, or would, is it only like if it's lower? Oh, well, it's only if it's lower, but it depends on what the actual dice result was. Uh, you rolled an 18 on the dice. Yeah, I rolled an 18. So, so then, well, it so is... then it would be, it would count as a critical, then. Well, okay, then it'd be a critical, so I'll use my critical strike feed. All right, so critical which strike. Which is, so that would be 8 plus, well, 8 plus, plus one. 1, that's 9, plus another 8 crit damage. So 16 total, or 19 total. Yeah, 18 nine, total. well... Let's see, uh, Sorry, my math is terrible. <laughs> it's I'm... nine plus nine, so yeah, nine plus nine is eight. Would be that would be eighteen damage. Congratulations, you just yeeted that uh, <laughs> that GM out of existence. Hell yeah! Now I want to use my dash and my cunning and my bow bonus action. Do my bonus action to do my cunning action to do a dash action. Yes. Okay. <laughs> F one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I can make it next to the mud rock. Uh, there we go. So I'll move. Would they suit you? Would you like me to move up one more? Because I still have one DM left, moving speed. No, I mean you could. You don't have to use your entire move speed. You can. No, no, but I mean like um, that still counts as flanking, right? Because if because I'm adjacent to it, even if it's diagonally. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then I'll just um, stay here because I can pop in and out of cover easily if need be. Cool. And with that, I will end my turn. <laughs> Not so fast, Yugi. <laughs> um, Not so fast, Yugi boy. All right, uh, Wesley, you are up. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I said, do I have advantage? You have advantage, flanking the Gundam. Ooh, and the 16 hits. It's a good thing that, uh, the Jin, uh, one shotted that GM. So, and that'll be four slashing damage. Yep, and now for the offhand. Yeah, and go ahead and make that one with advantage as well. Sixteen will hit again. So go ahead and roll me some additional slashing damage. <laughs> So another five slashing. You guys are picking this Gundam apart. Um, oh, yep, you're already on Ow. top of it. So one thing that I've been one thing that I've been wondering, and I was going to save for after the session, but I'm kind of curious. Like the like we've been assembled here to um well to to for the last escape with the HLVs, like to defend the HLVs. But are we just like? Elite soldiers picked from different units, or are we like a clear unit? Like, is are we unit specifically assembled for this task, or are we like an existing unit that's been put on this task? Uh, you were an existing unit that was put on this okay, task. Cool. Um, cool. and because Sorry. you have advantage with the Zaku tank, uh, 16 will hit, which is uh, an additional seven ballistic damage to the Mudrock. How is the Mudrock looking right now? Let's see. Not okay. very good. You guys don't know how. <laughs> you guys don't need to know how many points he has left. <laughs> Roy, it is your turn. Uh, I'm a. Tr I'm gonna go for my shoulder cannons. Shoulder cannons away. That is a plus one, again. And remember, you get advantage on it because he is uh currently <laughs> surrounded. <laughs> so it's seven. Because proficiency. Uh, you get to roll the d20 again. I don't know. <laughs> or eight. <laughs> <laughs> and I did remember to add proficiency to that, so... Oh, fuck my luck. <laughs> so, Wesley and Jin, as as you're just, like, hacking away at the mud rock, you see two rockets fly, like, just in front of it and hit the building beyond... Uh, be behind oh. you. Um, I'm, I'm certainly not so excited to play this game. <laughs> uh, Roy, you actually now have control of Zaku Tank 4 now as well. Um, since, oh, fantastic. Since um, your poor Zaku Tank got yeeted. <laughs> yeah, it got fucking destroyed because I, I took the shit, took, took the best half of his fucking Gundam. <laughs> He's probably really proud to get signed to that, and I'm also refreshing because I still can't control the Zaku Tank 4. There we go. There okay. Go. Uh, so he is going to roll forward a bit. And fire at this early wave, early type GM. All right, fire away. Let me get the Zaku tank four up. Oh, it's a lovely pink color. My favorite. Yeah. That misses. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. Because of course it does. I rolled it. <laughs> Why would it fucking hit? <laughs> Uh, Astral's dice roller just does not like you at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, it, it could smell the gold 20 on us. <laughs> exactly. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And the GM early type is going to open fire on the central HLV. Beam spray gun, 13 to hit, misses. So, top of the round... It is round four. Um, just as if a heads moves, up, he's gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Champion, oh, it's the championship round. <laughs> You're right. Um. All right. So the mud rock is going to turn around and attempt to swipe at Wesley with the beam saber. That is a nineteen to hit. That hits, but I take five. <laughs> five. Five slashing damage, and then 
basically doing like a little twirl attack. It's going to try and hit uh, Jin with its second beam saber swipe. No, you can't just hit me with your beam saber. Thirteen. Uh, beam I think saber is goes not whoosh. quite high enough, right? Thirteen is just high enough, actually. That's that ties my evasion rate. <laughs> well, then you will suffer twelve points of slashing damage. <laughs> So at this point, the Mudrock Gundam is just flailing around with its beam saber, trying to take you guys out. Uh, should sh should we give uh, Jin control of gun tank too? Was I could tank too? Yeah, let's mm. go ahead and do that. Gimme, give gimme. Give <laughs> uh, so to the Jin Sama. Hi. All right. Now you might have to refresh in order to uh, actually click right. on and use it. Little couple refreshes. And it's your turn. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for Asphalt to load. <laughs> That's one. That's always uh, an important step in the process. I'm going to wait for, well, wait for the chat to load. I'm going to move two decameters up next to the Mudro Gundam. And I'm going to attempt to hit it with my iron nail. Iron nail time. Iron nail, I want to just cleave its fucking head off. A 19 will that's, certainly hit. That's uh, okay, that's a... Uh, and I assume you're going to... Uh, do you still have uh, any critical strikes left? Well, criminal critical strike, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a usage of anything. Uh, you will have 15... Uh, yeah, I rolled a 15, so I can't use my critical strike. Dang. But I can, but like, it doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> right, it'd be a waste. Um, so, that's 3 plus 1, and because I, well, I can't use a sneak attack. You do get the it... sneak attack. Yes. So, 6 total? 6, yeah, 6 total damage. God, that that's like the minimum you, you, you can be. <laughs> it's like my minimum, yes. One, one, mm. one, one, and one. <laughs> it's still not, but it's still not bad. Six minimum. But um, I want to try. Um, uh, what would be offhand attack? I don't have. Well, I mean, I could. Well, I don't you have two melee weapons. Yeah. Hmm? I mean, you could always roll it. You wouldn't get any of the uh, like the added bonuses of. Uh... Would that count as a bonus action? Yeah, it would count as a bonus action. You just roll a raw d20. I prefer to just use my risk it with my Vulcan gun stand, or 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 I could. <laughs> would I still get my um, heat bonus and stuff? Um, you would get the heat bonus, yeah. Or then it might be smart to go with my uh, yeah. Fuck it, I'm gonna go. Would it just roll a raw d20? Yeah, just a raw d20. Well, two d20s d20. d20 because you have oh, advantage. Right. Yeah, so you have advantage on the roll, so you do get to. Shit! Wait, that's no wait. That doesn't work. Uh, well, that 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 that's two d20s in one. Okay, this is d21. There you go. And yeah. that's d22. All right, the second one hits. So uh, go ahead and roll the, uh, just the damage. Hit, you, doesn't he a two hit? hit? Two hit. That's uh, well. Would it be critical? Yes, because no critical strike can only be. No yeah. critical strike has to be used as a, as a like a, a attack action and not a bonus action. Exactly. Oh, okay. So um, two hit would be a D eight, which uh, please God uh, don't don't. <laughs> Six, very good, and that's another d6 heat damage, which one d6, six, six twelve. There you go. You tripled your uh, your damage output on it. I ain't compl I ain't complaining. That's twelve <laughs> damage. And now yeah, it's my I point. am. Uh, I'm only. I'm at one third of my armor, so I really need to do fuck out. All right, Wesley. Are you going to give it the beam Naginata in the back? <laughs> it is the spy from Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Does 15 hit him? Oh, 
fifteen is one short. But a nineteen definitely hits him. <laughs> All right. Well, how would you like to describe how you just obliterated this mud rock Gundam from behind? Tries to, to go in, in for, for an overhead slash, and I just dodge it and hit him in the cockpit. Yeah, you drive your beam Naginata through the co cockpit, and like. Oh, and. Okay. Oh, and. No, no, but actually, cool. I just put the handle on the cockpit and then ignite it. Oh, even better. And you hear just the, the slightest faint of a scream for that split second that uh as the as the beam naginata ignites and then the uh after you pierce through the generator in the backpack the mobile suit explodes in front of you all right and i see you're already uh controlling the tank sadly he's not not going to shoot so that's it. <laughs> hey, it, it all counts. All right, Roy. Hey, lovely. One, two, three, four, five. I'd like to fire at the GM. You may. With my sniper. A little sniper rifle action. Don't forget to add your proficiency bonus. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that's probably... That's one of my favorite. Twenty will hit. That's probably one of the like. The, I don't know why it's popped up in my head. But, like that's probably one of the words that's like most affected by someone's like accent. Sniper rifle. Oh yeah. Like, in the middle, like uh, sniper damn. rifle. Sniper rifle. <laughs> sniper, rifle. sniper rifle. Well, Sniping's a good job, mate. <laughs> love me sniper rifle. Love me club. Love me wife. Love me spoons. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right, only only Roy will get that fuck. Uh, all right. I assume you're gonna so, have a go with the uh, Zaku tank as well. Yep, he is going to fire at it with his gun. Twenty-one will hit, so that's an it additional is nine. nine damage. All right, and then it is his turn and he is going to charge in and have a swipe with the beam saber on the HLV uh, there it is <laughs> a 10 Miss. does not hit <laughs> <laughs> plot twist we did all this work just for ears just for ears of space force to be waiting just outside of orbit to shoot down the HLVs and uh, as that happens, he takes a swipe with his beam saber and misses, but that is because the HLV begins to take off as we enter round five of combat, because that'll be that'll be like the full minute from last round, because it was three rounds of five com or three combats of five rounds each. And as the HLV takes off, the jet thrusters bear down on the top of the GM dealing the additional let's see <laughs> six points of heat damage that it's going to six. take to destroy it six whole points so congratulations boys that is mission hell. success hell yeah I can't believe how badly I've robbed <laughs> over overcomes I have a bo I have a bottle of whiskey here. Come on, boys. I killed a Gundam. <laughs> I killed a Gundam. I killed. Well, I mean, I killed quite a few gems early on. That went fucking. That was rotten. Yeah, I think you all, uh, with the exception of Roy, I think that you are all ace pilots now. <laughs> yeah. Because fuck this I think, dies, I think you took down five mobile suits each. Yeah. yeah. 
The Royston. Well, good work, guys. Hell yeah. Good time. Um, it, you know, as a wise man once said, what's in the box? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got the South crate. All right, so I shall get, I shall get the, the, the thing here. Even though I can't really, well, I can't pick it up. I can't really use it, can I? <laughs> it's like I, I, I watch as, as the rockets fly, as the rockets fly up, and I, uh, and I let out a sign. One last comes to them. Godspeed. And I'll see you around. And give them a little salute. Yeah, just oh. a salute as they fly up. All right. Go ahead and each of you give me an investigation check. Investigation. Uh, Investigate. No. I swear, if this is a good roll, I'm going to scream. That's funny. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> bad. Um. Well, with the nat twenty, you uh, you activated the fourth cache. There are four hidden caches in the city. Oh, no. I just roll a TN. TN. I am not going to bother because Astro <laughs> hates me and I'd like to announce that I'm never touching it again. <laughs> so, Wesley, in your cache, you discover a heavy beam rifle, which um, has similar stats to, to, an ex to your existing beam rifle, except for the fact that it deals uh, 2d8 um, energy damage plus 1d6 uh, heat damage. I got a boa. Oh yeah. Uh, Jin, the the uh, cash that you unlocked is a backpack missile launcher, the MLS MLRS missile launcher. It has What's eight. Google? It's got uh, eight shots. Um, each of them deal two D10 explosive damage. Uh, well, I'm gonna. You, yeah, you've written that down, right? Yeah, I, I have. Cool, so I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I have the descriptions of these weapons. Would that be? A, would, mm, would that be able to be? Um. Would that be able just just to the curiosity? Would that be able to maybe at base be fitted with um, for underwater use as well, like with torpedoes? Yeah, yeah, it would work. Is that because Because that sounds like something that. Um. My Daigo could strap on and just uh, get rid of, like, well, get rid of, like, drop the and on that one. It isn't needed anymore when it's empty. Because it seems quite burdensome. Yeah. Um, and then, Roy, your cache um, carries a pair of shotguns. They count as one ranged weapon, um, but you get two shots out of them. Um, it doesn't stack with, with like, multi attack. Um, bonuses, but they do deal 2d6 of ballistic damage along with uh, 2d4 heat damage. And then who wants the fourth cash? Well, I, mean... I rolled the dice. <laughs> you did roll the die that uh, that found it, so Wesley, you also gain uh, two more uh, repatch pair... Uh, re re repatch? Yeah, that's repatch pairs. <laughs> repair patch kits. Mm -hmm. So those those items could have come in handy uh, if you discovered them in combat, but you also would have had to leave the HLVs uh, unguarded yeah. in order yeah. to acquire them. So it's probably right, best. I, I just need an opinion real quick. With how badly I rolled, it, are we all in agreed that I, that this day was cursed? Well, for you, <laughs> yes. Yeah, but um, I assume we we're able to um. Uh, swap out these web that they aren't bound to our mobile switch web so we can swap them out all oh yeah uh, like I, so I, w I would be I would be able for example to um, uh, give Roy's well uh, give Roy my uh, Amazon MLRS missile launcher oh to, yeah uh, put on his um, camphor instead of like maybe the uh, back mounted thingy things yeah you could do that oh sick well, I imagine he has enough loadout points to, uh, to <laughs> just just stack them. them. <laughs> He's stack got them. backpack cannons and MLR or MLRS just missile hard, launchers. Hard points. Okay, hard points. Well, Super well, I, have you have you heard of Tommy Tinsman? Exactly. Well, I imagine that 
that how, how it would look with the missile pack is that the missile pack is just in between the gap of the two cannons. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it is the same missile launcher that's on the back of the uh, the GPO two. Based. Yeah. Well, that's about it, guys. That's all I had planned. So that uh, was that was a good one. I was very combat focused, of course, and I but I did try to don't take, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm very glad that is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For you, it was a bit of a slog. I am so sorry. <laughs> I did try to be a cheeky bastard sometimes, but like very combat focused. Was a fan. You know what? I'm next time. I think I just need to spec my character better. I next think time, I'm thinking. Next time, I'm my place, sniper. <laughs> I mean, it well, would... I'm, I'm hoping I get to play the game again. Oh, absolutely. Hope. <laughs> um, no, I think maybe if you're all maybe test. if you're all badly on your good night check, you might not wake up. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'm playing a campaign for it right now because you know I'm not running enough games right now. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for playing this little module with me. I think, uh, I mean, I learned a lot, especially about the, the gorilla class. It's like, you know, there's, there's definitely some variability in, in builds. Um, and thank you to those who have tuned in. I hope that it was, uh, enjoyable to watch these boys, uh, defend these HLV character carriers. Um, you guys did at level three, you took out a CR six enemy. So that was, uh, pretty impressive pretty good um, yeah that mudrock mm. gundam was supposed to be much more challenging but we were small we were... but you were smart we tried to be smart at least <laughs> yeah and exploit the map yeah you took advantage of uh of the, the the benefits that each of your mobile suits had so it was and, but but see imagine if there were like imagine if this was in the, uh... and there were like gunnels everywhere oh yeah imagine that oh. The carnage I would have caused. <laughs> By God. All Thank right. God it, it doesn't have the the uh, White Devil uh, ability, which is just just frightful presence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the so, I'm rockets. not gonna lie because 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 when we were making characters, we didn't have we. Uh, I'm pretty sure pricing's on there was right now. It was a bit fucked up. I was tempted to just buy a Neo Zeon. <laughs> no, just a Zeon even. I mean, that Sorry, would have been pretty pretty epic. You could have. Just like, how, how do we transport this secretly? I don't know, but... My, the thing with the Z-Yong, the thing with the regular Z-Yong would be my Neo's in but the one thing regular Z-Yong would be... Couldn't have really... Wait, what if you... What if you... Because you can get, like, a, a base jabber. What if you've got, like, a regular Z-Yong with a base jabber? The Z-Yong with a base on, jabber. On Earth with a base it. jabber. It's buying a base jabber. <laughs> That'd be All epic. Right. Well, hey, how to stat stat book stat book for Zeo with base jabber win? <laughs> oh jeez, don't start <laughs> this again. All right, with that, I'm going to end the stream though. So thank yeah, you right. for anyone anyone who's tuning in. I saw Centaurus in the chat, um, and oh, uh, and I'm sure Ghetto was in there as well. Yeah, Centaurus, uh, there, Centaurus, Ghetto, Zaya, uh, G Meister, uh, Athian. Yeah, Everybody thank you everyone. guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, for checking it out. Hope it was enjoyable, and I will catch Hell you guys yeah. later.